everybody how are we doing welcome welcome to pleasant view oh i gotta turn down the music a little bit so i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep the volume at this for a little bit we're gonna see how the music goes with my voice so how is everybody doing welcome to pleasant view i have not done pleasant view in a while so anyway i guess we'll get into it i peaked a little bit before stream but it's a little bit messy let's see who's here the name is Water. Hello. Alexandra's here. No surprises there. Rosie, how are you? Gabrielle is here. First time catching it live. Thank you. I was like, I think I recognize your name, but I don't think I remember you from a stream. Candy Queen. Oh my God. Here we go. Carl's here. Hi. How are we doing? Stephanie is here. Welcome. Oh my goodness. Hi to everybody. I guess I guess people want to see Pleasant View, right? There we go. Lady, how you doing? Hello, I hope all you are having a wonderful day. Remember to breathe and drink water. That's such good advice. You're so much nicer person than I am. I'm drinking black coffee, but it's in a pretty cup, so you know what? <laughs> I just drank it awkward, just sprayed coffee. Oh my god, it didn't hit my monitor. That's good. A little bit on my keyboard, but there we go. You're here as always, except for last time with CJ. Yeah, like if I'm if I'm streaming with CJ, just like pick one of us, cause it's too much to have them both open. And yeah, go for it. He also does it like on Twitch and I'll do it on YouTube. And just some people prefer one or the other. I prefer YouTube, but I will go to Twitch for certain people like CJ, like Maddie, like any, any one of my Sims 3 friends, I'll like, I'll definitely do it. But I'm not usually on Twitch, like looking for stuff to watch. I'm usually on YouTube. White Eel, first time watching live. Welcome. Hi. Alicia's necklace. <laughs> I love that name, Alicia. I always have those like couple names that if I ever had a kid, like it's, it, it's one of the name options. So Alicia is one of my girl names. You're always around in bursts. Yeah, I do the same. Like, because, like, honestly, okay, like, when, when someone I really like goes live, it's usually when I'm busy or, like, out or something. So, like, I'll pop in, I'll say something, and I'll go do something I have to, then I'll come back, and sometimes I'll leave it playing in the background. Do the broke family first. We, uh, I, I'm thinking, so this is a pleasant view I haven't really shared. Like, this is the pleasant view that I play. Like, you know when I don't upload for like a week or two? I'm still playing The Sims, you're just not seeing it. So this is like a pleasant view that I've kind of had going for a while now. So we'll pop into each family and see what's going on. In my rotation, I do have to play Calientes and I thought that would be really good. I have to do the Calientes, which will be fun, and the Pleasants. And the Pleasants is like, it's full of drama, but I'm sick of the Pleasants. Darling Rosie, just going lurking and got and going work workout. Thanks for your hard work. Thank you so much. Enjoy your workout. I'm not a I'm not an exercise person. I'm an active person, but I don't exercise. Like I run for the bus. I take like animals for walks. Like I'll do stuff that's active, but I won't work out. Like I don't go to the gym, for example, and I do not just run for the hell of it. Here's the thing. If you ever see me running down the street, you need to start running too, because something's coming. Like, something's coming after me, so there you go. Glitch Art, how are you? Welcome. I still remember you're the, the cartoon you drew. Thank you, it's the lighting. I'm in, like, direct, like, beautiful sunlight. Like, I set my computer in front of this window, so I'm just, like, I feel 10 years younger. My goodness. It's my 30-somethingth birthday in in three weeks i think three weeks exactly you're doing your workout while listening to the stream well i hope it's pretty good oh my goodness i've just been rambling up a storm it's good to see everybody lira's here you played the broke family with the i can fix them mentality i lost Bo and the other child okay i haven't lost any babies to child protective services however if i do lose a baby i usually adopt it back with a different family a much more competent family so in the sims 2 they go into the adoption pool so you can have like i don't know who's oh god maybe the goths like maybe have cassandra adopt Bo. so that way he has a shot in life 
another 30s club well that's the thing like i grew up with the sims one so like i'm i'm older than than the average sims tuber that's why i like the older ones that's why i can't be fooled by ea okay so let's see what's going on here i'm gonna try and get you know what i kind of like the circle so why don't i just try and shrink this oh no that's the wrong thing i want to get my face kind of can i just like use it as a circle i like this kind of good right i'm just gonna make sure i'm positioned nicely because i don't have my second monitor so i'm gonna have to like be very careful uh maybe i'm gonna lower myself a bit because if we go in the open for business i want you to see everything if my face is in the way of something please just let me know okay so going into the neighborhood to play okay so here i am in the sims 2 so pleasant view I haven't changed the descriptions or anything. I have a Pleasant View shopping district and a downtown and a university. I use these for community lots, like the like the like the downtown and the shopping district. And I have the college. So I've sent a few Sims to college. A few months ago, I actually played this Pleasant View. So, but it was the college years. So I think it was Dustin, Angela, Dirk, and Dustin. So they all went to college together. They went to Sim State University. And now it's kind of like time for the next generation to go to university. So we'll do that in the future. I don't want to do university again because that was the last stream I did. I'm hoping to do a little more open for business, a little bit more um, nightlife. Life, you know stuff like that but for my pleasant view because a lot of people know me as a builder and the thing is with the sims 2 i it's so fun that i don't build very much like i just kind of use the houses that are there and i'll do like renovations and whatnot so let's just check it out a little bit so I like, I like putting my pleasant view this way. I don't know why. I just like it to be on this side. So I put down a couple lots. Like I have a house here that, that no one's bought. I have a house here from the housing bin. It's the value, Victorian value. I love this house. It's ugly, but I love it. Going over here, this is like a hundred baby starter, which is like 19993. So it's like, it's like $7. Hi CJ, welcome. Uh, yeah, I'm doing an earlier stream, so that way we don't stream at the same time. There we go. Happy Friday. Yeah, Calvin, West Anime Sims has been playing The Sims 1 as long as me. Since 2000. Before some of you were born. Oh no. <laughs> My goodness. Okie doke. I'm just going to give you a little, the grand tour. So we'll do it in like, um, what's it called? Scripted events order. So first up, we have the goth family. So the way I've been doing this is I name the babies in alphabetical order, but backwards. So Z Y X W B U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D C E A. So, so I, I'm just going in that order. So the kids' names. So like for example, Zachary was the first kid born. Actually, maybe not, because Brandy's pregnant. But I always name because you know how she has Bobby broke. I name him Robert. So anyway, so I don't really count him because he already exists. But Cassandra and Don, they ended up getting married in my save file i just let them do the wedding if he leaves her he leaves her if they get married they get married so don and cassandra have had a very um very problematic marriage to say the least so their children are zachary lothario uh yvonne lothario timothy lothario and Sandra Lothario. So since Cassandra's a family sim and i have the 18 hour pregnancy mod installed i tend to just like give like have her give birth twice each rotation or like every other one or whatever so that's why the names are like z and y and t and s like they're next to each other so i probably pumped out two babies each time i got her pregnant so that's pretty much what i did now uh i guess i'll go into the households after i do the sum uh after i do the summaries because i don't remember everything about every sim i don't do a spreadsheet like everybody else does mim's here hi i should look back at the chat i've been distracted Hi everybody. I'm looking at the chat on my phone because I don't have the other the um the other monitor. You think you played The Sims 1 starting in 2002 or 2003 when you were in elementary school? Yeah, I was 10 years old when The Sims 1 came out. I didn't buy it at launch. I think my uncle did and then I visited him that summer. So, I think The Sims came out in like the winter time, like January or February. I could be wrong, um but and then I believe the following summer was when I first played it. So when Live in Large came out, like myself, my uncle and cousins, like we were all playing it. We're all like guys too. Like guys playing The Sims 1 was like a thing. So we so we loved The Sims 1 and then they came out with Live in Large and like we went out and bought it immediately. Oh, the music's loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. 
Thank you. Tell me how that is. Did the music change? I don't even know. So if I was rambling and it was too loud, I'm sorry. Okay, let me know how that goes. You have to have something in writing, otherwise I'll never be able to keep up with everyone. I have a good memory and I don't, like, I kind of binge play this. So it's not like I'm playing so much that I can't keep track of it. I'll play it like in a huge chunk and then I remember most things that happened. And then I kind of keep track with my rotations by seasons. So if you look, Dreamers in the summer, so they're done. Burbs in the summer, they're done. Goths in the summer, they're done. Pleasant, I have to play a few more days. Broke, I have to play a few more days. And Caliente, oh, someone asked for Broke, so we can play the Brokes. So the three, um, the three households that we have to play are Caliente, Broke and Pleasant. Now, this Broke, this is like Angela and Dustin. They're a little bit further ahead. It's weird. The Sims 2 is the same age as me or like one year older. I know, right? It's weird. Okay, so next up we have the Caliente family, which is kind of half the goth family now. So we have Nina Caliente as always. I can't even, like, look, I am trying to stop my smile. Like, they make me smile. Oh my god, this game is great. Dina Goth, because she married Mortimer. I have that mod where you can select the last name. And since this is like an old game, I just give like usually the females get the male's last name if it's a if it's an opposite sex couple. Your first game was The Sims, but on PS2. See, a lot of the console games are like really good, like shockingly good because they because they made quite a few of those. So, yeah, Dina Goth, she has a couple businesses. I'll just kind of go over here to show you. So she had, well, okay. So she has one business, Dina's Boutique, and she has another business that she's gonna buy soon, Dina's Diner. So I kind of have to get money to Mortimer because when Mortimer moved out, he didn't really get much money. Cassandra still has the goth fortune. So I'm gonna use that computer mod or the banking mod. I forget which one, I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out when I get in there. But I have a mod where I can have Cassandra send money to a different household. So I might do that before we even get started. Yep, so Calientes, uh, I have Alexander Goth. He's pretty much ready for college. Uh, generally, even if a teen, because I think the teen lifespan is a little bit long in The Sims 2, whether, you, whether you're using a clean template or not. So I personally like to send my kids to college a little bit earlier. So especially if they do really well in school, then I'm then it's like, especially like Bo Broke, Alexander Goth, when they have A's and they've done all their homework and stuff, they're halfway through, I'm like, yeah, go to college. Because sometimes you can go a little bit early. I think when I moved to college, I was 17. My goodness. That's terrifying to think about. I have goose pimples. Okay. Mortimer Goth, wise and wise one. Yeah, so Mortimer is like, I don't know why he's lived this long. This is the longest he's ever lived in a save file of mine, so I'm not sure. But he has a daughter as well, because he got Dina pregnant. So Whitney Goth, she, so she's W. You were never a Sims 1 player because your parents wouldn't let you play it. But then The Sims 2 came out and I secretly bought it with some birthday money. You were 12. So here's like my situation. So like, I had like video game influences in my family and game influences. So like, you know, whether it's right or wrong, by the time I was eight, I was already playing guns, like playing gun games, shooting people, blowing things up, like, you know, more boyish games. So like, and The Sims 1 is quite violent and a little bit like sexualized. Like it's a, like, for example, like, um, the strippers and stuff, like even the play in bed, like the motel bed, uh, the violent fires and stuff, like all that stuff is like, you know, a little bit more mature, but a lot of video game stuff was. So like I was, so like, I guess it wasn't seen as that bad. And like, we used to turn on move objects, put them in the shower and try to see them naked. Like we used to try and like move the shower and get rid of the pixels. Like what is wrong? Oh my God, 11 year old me is, ugh, I don't wanna talk about it. You adored Castaways. Yeah, Castaways is a good game. Sims 2, pe oh, pets. Oh yeah, okay, so Sim, Sim, Sims 2 had a pets one, a Game Boy one or a DS one or something. So yeah, that was crazy. There was a, and, and they were like different games. So like when they would use different consoles, they didn't repeat the game. They made a new game. It's crazy. There's even like a 3D version of the Sims 1 like on console. Okay, who comes next after the Caliente? So we have Goth, Sorry, Lothario, Goth, Caliente. I think it's Broke Fourth, right? So let's so let's go into Broke. So uh, Dustin's already moved out here. Uh, he already went to college and stuff. So we have Brandy Broke, who's in Platinum, because I keep getting her pregnant. But here's where the drama kind of starts. Okay, so you know Brandy, you know Bo. I should send him to college soon too. 
Robert broke, which was the baby she's pregnant with when you start the game. I'm using a clean template, so this could have been a baby girl, and I would have named her Roberta, just so it's the same name, if that makes sense. And she has Victoria Pleasant. So can anyone guess as to who Victoria Pleasant's father might be? Hmm, let's think about that for a second. It's not Andrew, I promise. So, oh, it might be. <laughs> but anyway, let's uh, let's just go into uh, the next household, and th and then we might be able to answer your question. So, the Pleasant household. Um, so this is Daniel Pleasant. They're o they're alive too. The oldies. My goodness, all my elders are like on death's door. I swear to God, it is Daniel. You're right. It is Daniel. So Daniel. <laughs> They are not safe from Andrew. Nobody's safe from Andrew. <gasps> Let's make Andrew for the save file. <laughs> that would be fun. I might add in a few, a few characters in into my pleasant view once I get it a little more. See, I the thing is, I want to play open and I want to play story progression and more loosely and stuff, but I'm such a control freak. Like I want to name all these babies. I want to make as many as possible and I don't want anything going on without my authority. I like messes, but I create the mess. Ooh, there's H&M. I forgot I put that down too. How on earth has Andrew become a meme on this channel? Because it's hilarious. It's just funny, I have to laugh. Because if you don't laugh, you'll cry. Clearly, we've seen that. So, let's just talk about the Pleasants for a little bit. These Pleasants. So, Daniel Pleasant. Um, so Daniel and Mary Sue are still married. She does not know about this baby. So, I hope she finds out soon. Uh, then we have Coral and Herb. Herb wants to like sleep with other people and stuff. I sent him downtown and like all these women rejected him. It was so sad. And then they adopted a dog named Heidi, which they do not take care of. I'm t like, this dog is like CJ stream style. I don't pay attention to the dog. I forgot to take it out and everything. So there's that. Oh goodness, let's have another sip of coffee. Creep. Cree USA Drag Race? Yes. I'm just I'm just taking the piss out of it. I'm not I'm not I'm not very nice. Okay, I'm gonna go into the next house, Dreamer. So Dirk and Angela, sorry, Dirk and Angela. Oh my god, I almost mixed them up. So actually Dirk and Angela had a thing for a little bit in the university let's play, if you remember correctly. So Darren Dreamer. Uh he's he's also old now. Uh Dirk and Lilith are living with him. They're probably just gonna take the house. I because the thing is, I like to kind of clump people together if it makes sense, just to make the, like the gameplay faster. Like I don't wanna play a week of these two separately, especially if I don't love the household, then I move them in. That's why the oldies live with Mary Sue, because I don't wanna play the oldies separately. I just wanna get it all done together. <clears throat> Just wanted to drop in for a second, say hello. I love that I adore your content so much. I'm hoping to get to 9K hours total in The Sims 3, currently at 8984. Well, good luck. That's only 16 more to go. So that'll take you like, like a solid Sims 3 day. You know when you wake up and start playing The Sims and then it's like time to go to bed later? So that's all it'll take for you. Just do it on a day you don't have to do anything else, like work or clean up or anything. Dirk and Angela, gosh, I didn't do that though. Like the thing is with Dirk and Angela, they did that on them. They did that on their own. Oh my God. Uh, we have one more household. No, two more households. So we have the Burb family. I did place them separately. I like the Burbs because John's a family sim. So I usually like having babies. So if it's a family sim, like I will, I like I'll, I'll usually play them as a separate household and just, you know, populate more. Cause like in a neighborhood like this, you need as much, um, as much genetic diversity as possible so that way you don't end up with like sister cousins or whatever. Elders on their own can be boring. I used to play the oldies alone and have them like adopt a kid, but it wasn't your fault. <laughs> and I think Dustin and Lilith should be a thing. Yeah, I don't know. It was a, the university let's play was a typical Sims 2 let's play. It was a mess. So we have John, we have Jennifer. Um, Jennifer's like, re uh, I don't know. So the thing is, is that Jennifer wants to have money, 
but John wants to have babies. So every time she gives birth, then she doesn't go to work. So she doesn't get any of her wants fulfilled, but he gets all of his. So I've been trying to balance them, but as you can see, neither are in platinum. I have Xanadu Burb, typical Tyke. I don't really know any other X names except Xavier and Xanadu, so that's what I always use. And then I have Rebecca Burb. I reuse R, even though I already use R for Robert, because Robert's already in the game. He's just in Brandy Broke's uterus, right? So I figured I'm gonna use an R, so Rebecca Burb. And we do have a Q. And remember, I said I played the Broke family too much, so let's just look at this one. Uh, so the Brokes. Dustin Broke, he's Justin Platinum. I've got Angela Pleasant, woman about town, except she doesn't get out much. And then I have Quinn Broke, who's in Platinum. So Quinn is the daughter of Dustin and Angela. So uh, I played this household a little too far ahead. That's why they're in winter, and that's why Quinn's a child and older than some of the toddlers. So there we go. You've been looking forward to this. Welcome, Chris. I'm glad. I figured I'd give you something that you would enjoy, too, because I know even though I'm like a Sims 3 channel, like my heart is with The Sims 2 a lot of the time. So I figure, and I know a lot of my audience is the same way. Like the thing is your, your love of The Sims 2 and 3 can happen simultaneously because they, are, because they offer two completely different kinds of Sims games and they're both excellent. Same with expansion packs and stuff. Like you wanna play a cult, Sims 3. You wanna play like, businesses sims 2 like it's just you know it's kind of like which game is best for what i want to do zohar zoltan zeth zeta use zachary i think and yes i say zed because i'm canadian hello i hope that i'm having a great day thank you rift walker you too i love sims 2 and 3 sims 4 I can suck it oh dear i didn't say it you did my goodness same with Sims 1. Yeah, well, like, even with Sims 4, like, it's like all four Sims games are really different. Like, Sims 1 is about money, Sims 2 is about family, Sims 3 is about adventure, and Sims 4 is about, well, it's about money too, but in a different way. So, there we go. Rosie, the Broke family was always my most played household. Me too. When I, Okay, when I was, like, a teenager and I was playing The Sims 2, like, I would open Pleasant View and, like, play Broke. Like, that's the only thing I did for, like, the first year. <laughs> like, I just played the Broke family and struggled. And it's funny, because now we see things like, I was looking, even like James Turner's new Rags to Riches series, it's got almost half a million views. So clearly people still love the poverty-based challenges. It's all about suffering. Hi, Sophie, welcome. I haven't seen you in a bit. How are you doing? Sims 2 and Sims 3, definitely gonna play differently. Yes, okay. I got 53 people here who came to watch The Sims be played. So I'm just gonna kinda get started. You know me, I'll keep talking and I'll forget about them. So let's just load in the Calientes quickly and see what's going on. I love how Nina is taking care of the baby in the portrait, because that is so the situation. Dina is lazy, so she has a business, so she brings her elderly husband to the business and makes him do everything. Alexander stays home and does his homework. I don't think he's dating anybody. Sometimes I have my teen Sims date, sometimes not. It depends what kind of Sim they are. Okay, let's just see what's going on. If CJ is still here, I'm gonna show him something. So see this icon, the plum bob here? It's the needs panel. And when you click it, you can see all of your needs for all the needs for your Sims. So that way you can keep track of it. I guess give a quick tour of the house. I think I've shown you guys this house sometime in the past, but I kind of just redid the Caliente house in mine slash Dina's style. I'm doing well, thank you, Sophie. I'm doing better now that I'm on stream. You had The Sims 2 for DS. The, the, I think The Sims 3 for DS was open world, even though The Sims 4 is not. So here's the house. If you've played The Calientes before, this floor plan should be no surprise to you. I have not touched the roof. I just put a few skill building objects, like I have the workout machine up there. I have the easel on this balcony. So there we go. So let's see what's going on. We have, how many days left? Five days left in spring. So we have like the full days to play. Maybe we should do all of them. We'll see how it goes. So, okay, look at Nina is putting Whitney to bed and this is Whitney goth. So I'm just gonna prove, where is it? Where's the family trees? I always forget. There it is. So family tree. So Whitney is the daughter of Dina and Mortimer. But of course, Nina is the one doing everything. Look at, look at Dina. She's just sitting there. She's sitting there doing nothing. My goodness. Yeah, Aunt, Aunt Nina is where it's at. Honestly, I don't know how it's gonna go. 
Poor Whitney. Okay, so Dina would like to earn 4,000 simoleons. I don't know how she's going, going to do that by sitting on her ass, but that's fine. What does Mortimer want to do? He's so old. Look at this. He's 68 days old. You're on a train back from London. Nice. Are you on the Eurostar or are you on like a UK train or what? Your friend told you to get Sims 3 on Ja. It was, it was like he put insert certain. Oh, dear goodness. Oh my God, Sims 3 is, is is definitely addictive. A renaissance on YouTube, my goodness. There's so many people. I haven't had a busy stream in a while, but I haven't done, I guess, a Sims 2 stream in a while, so there we go. Let's see how relationships and stuff are going. Oh, I have to make sure that free will is on. Sometimes I turn off free will just so I can do screenshots and stuff. Okay, free, free will is on, she's just sitting there. Okay, I just wanted to make sure, I just wanted to make sure. So. As you can see, she's still attracted to Dawn. She's been mostly faithful to Mortimer since the affair. Sorry, since since the affair, since the marriage. Yeah, Nina's the sweeter sister. That's why I'm like, I don't I don't treat Nina like a like a hoe. Like I just have her like date a bunch of men. She's looking for something, but she never finds it. She's dating this guy, Abjit Depesi. I cannot. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm also kind of far from my monitor, so I'm like, I'm trying to squint and see it. So, Abhijit. I'm just gonna say his first name. Uh, oh, and she wants to be best friends with him, and I've already locked that in, so that's good. Why don't we give him a call on the phone? Because Whitney's actually been taken care of for once, thanks to Nina. Okay, where are we going? Okay, good. You're actually, she's, look, at, she's talking about breaking into a safe. <laughs> she's like, I want everything in your safe and I want the stocks to go up. Look at her, I love this game. Like that's, that's so what Nina would be talking about. Of course she got a plus from that. Okay, Nina's gonna clean up. Oh, it's not gonna let her do that. One second, I gotta move that. It's in use, give me a second. Look at, look at Nina, she's, she's cleaning up. Dina sure isn't. Okay, Dina, what are you doing? Okay, go to the bathroom. Actually, there's a bathroom downstairs. You, you can use the guest bathroom. Mortimer's doing pretty good, other than the fact that he's about to die. Now he's 69 days old, because it be because it turned into 6 p.m. Yeah, Dina's like talking about money nonstop. Okay, yeah, just, I love how Nina's just autonomously cleaning up. What is he doing? Why are you asleep this early? I'm gonna cancel that. Did you do your homework? How old are you? Yeah, you're over halfway. I might just send him to university. He's an A student. He's in private school and it's already Friday night. So yeah, why don't we just do that? I'm just gonna send him to university to get him out of the way. Then we have, cause we kind of need a bedroom for Whitney because she's got three days left until she's a child and she's literally just a crib in this awkward corner. So there we go. And she has no fun. Yeah, so we're gonna have to give her her own bedroom downstairs. So it's Friday night and in the morning, we'll send him off to college. So he can just watch TV or whatever. What does he wanna do? Oh, he wants to go to college. Okay. If my Sims don't roll the want to go to college, I don't send them. They usually do though. But even then I don't always send them cause I'm like, you know what? You're a D student. You don't care. Like why, are, like I'm not spending the money. Chloe, first time catching you stream live. You've been obsessed. Well, welcome. Here I am live. I'm a lot nicer live. Because I'm playing The Sims 2 and I'm happy. Okay. Nina. Okay, I'm going to have her call, call her boyfriend. Call. I don't want to do a date. I'm just going to call him. I might invite him over. Yeah, call, call Abjit. Just talk, we'll see what happens. Uh, Have him talk for a bit. Dina's watching TV. What are you doing, Alexander? Mortimer is losing enthusiasm in nature. That's not super important to me. I wanna have Dina go to the, go to the store tomorrow, go to her clothing store. Do I have a stereo in this house? I just wanna be careful that I don't get call it like music copyright. Alexander looks like a vampire just because he ages up ugly. I don't know what else to say. 
Yeah, he is kind of paler because there's only four skin tones in this game and I don't have custom skin tones installed. So these are just like default replacements. I've not really done a full legacy in The Sims 2. I tend to do rotational play in The Sims 2. For years, I've done this. Like, I've just always... I like the pre-made Sims because I grew up with them. So, like, I've been playing with Brandy Broke for 20 years. So, I love her, right? So, like, I just don't make Sims and don't stick to one Sim. Like, I just bounce around. Favorite and least favorite Pleasant View Sim. Favorites are Dina and Brandy, for sure. Yeah. Oh, maybe Cassandra. No, I like Bella better and she's not here. Okay, yeah. So I would say Dina or Brandy. Probably Dina. I picked Dina first. And then for least favorite? Oh, uh, honestly, Dirk or Mary Sue? No, not Dirk. Sorry. Darren. Darren or Mary Sue. Dirk's fine. Because Dirk and Lilith are fun. But like Darren, I'm like, uh, He's the rags to riches I don't want to do. He's like the ABC tumbleweed rags to riches. Paint a bunch of paintings and get a bunch of money. Like, I don't know. It's just not as fun. I did make it more fun this time because I had him save up and buy an art gallery. So that was fun. Because once I had the paintings, then I opened the art gallery and I was pricing them and like, you know, convincing people to buy the art. That was more fun than just selling it. A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four challenge. Let's go. Oh my God, this kid. Okay. Yeah, see, she isn't having any fun. So we're going to have Aunt Nina, who's practicing painting to make money. My goodness. Why don't you just teach Whitney to... Okay, just play with her for a little bit. Toss her in the air. What's Dina doing? Dina is sleeping in Alexander's bed. Great. What about Strange Town? Hmm. Favorite. Favorite in Strange Town? Olive. <laughs> but she dies. <laughs> it's good to be a subscriber ahead of beginning the stream. It sure is. That's how you rope them in. So that way if people want to yell at me, then they have to subscribe and push me into the algorithm to do it. So either they leave me alone or they propel my success. Yeah, Olive, for sure. See, the thing is, is that, like, I always play Olive in Midnight Hollow unless I'm doing, like, a legacy. In The Sims 3, sometimes I play rotationally, but I don't play all 25 families in the world. Like, I'll, like, I'll pick three to five and just cycle around them. And I'll leave, like, story progression going. Okay, you're in Nina's bed. Nobody's in the right bed. Okay, get up. What is he do? Why is he dancing in there? Why is he dancing this smussel? God, where is this? Turn this off. There, I'm gonna delete the stereo just so I don't get copyright claimed. And that way the smussel stops. Stop dancing the smussel. He wants to reach charisma level four. Then practice speech. Don't, and do it out of the bathroom. Go downstairs. Practice speech. Oh my God. I know you're tired, Nina, but somebody has to do it. Come on. Where is she? Okay. Yeah, see, look at this. This is the story of Whitney's life. Look at that. She hates Alexander because he's in her way. Dina's ignoring her. Poor Whitney. Come here. Play. Toss with her. There we go. Let's see the relationships. So for Whitney, yeah, so she likes Dina better because obviously that's her mother and like that's how they're born with like, I think 50-50. But like Nina has spent way more time with this kid and I think she's gonna end up with a better relationship. Yeah, at least she has Nina. Kyle's good. Kyle's staying with a friend because I'm dog sitting. There's a dog behind me. Yes, I like nervous subject as well. I don't like his personality points, like for gameplay. Oh no, she threw up on Nina. Poor Nina. Oh, but they liked it. That's okay. Snuggle. Let's see how the baby's doing now. Oh my God. Okay, we need to... I'm just gonna cheat that a little bit. I'm just cheating up the bladder a little bit just so I can get it to the potty. Okay, good. Alexander's done his bath. Oh my God, you gotta empty it. Go, 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 go. Ew. Okay. Potty train Whitney. Cause that's the only way she's gonna learn. 
She wants to learn to talk, but right now is the time to go to the potty. Dina, oh my God, Dina put garbage in the garbage can. That's the first time she's done that. Well, she needs her beauty sleep, even though she's less tired. Oh my God, why is Alexander in this bed? Alexander, get out. Oh my God, why is Mortimer in this bed? This is like, what's it, Goldilocks and the Three Bears or the, I don't know, Little Red Riding Hood. It's giving one of those vibes. It's always a risk to, to um to the toddler to puke on your sim. Yes. Hi Patrice, how are you? Haven't seen you for a bit too. Lots of old and new faces. I love it. Okie doke. Let's see what's going on. Why are you go to bed? <laughs> this game. Okay, perfect. Now Nina. Empty the potty and then go to bed. I think Nina's the only one with a job. She works tomorrow. She's a dancer. I like to give her an active job. So the first job that comes up that requires body skill is usually the one I give her. Like military or dance or something. I've got all the expansion packs installed, so it's fine. Oh no, did your neglected toddler wake you up? You poor thing. Okay, teach what need to... Uh, just... Play with her then. She needs a toy. Wait a minute. Maybe Dina doesn't have to do anything. Play with it. Oh, I, I have this face the wrong way. There. Play with it. Perfect. Okay, go to sleep. Everybody go to bed. Go to bed, go to bed. There we go. Why is, who's this? Oh, right. Michael Bachelor's ghost. Should we resurrect him? My goodness. That's the sad thing about Nervous. He doesn't socialize well with anyone. Yeah, he doesn't. I think he's got no points in anything. Except active is max. Or it might be all five or zero. I forget. It's messed up. I usually have him and Pascal um, have the alien baby and then adopt babies, and then get nervous pregnant with the baby. Like, it's babies, babies, babies. Because I don't do that with the other two Curious Brothers. I don't even like getting Vidkin pregnant, even though um, the scripted events kind of makes you. I don't like it. Michael versus Mortimer Showdown. Oh my god. Resurrect Michael. That would be problematic, would it not? I'm, I am using a clean template, so it should be fine for my game. I'm going to save the game just because I remembered that saving exists. So let's do that. Oh, dear. Okay. What are we doing? Dina. Oh, good. Dina and Mortimer is cuddling. Okay. Everything looks good. Everyone's in the green. I kind of want Mortimer. No, because Mortimer is going to die soon. So I kind of want them both dead. We can resurrect them, like, when she's old, maybe. Okay, Whitney. How's she doing? Oh, she's tired. Okay. Follow Mortimer. Okay. Let's see. Nina's asleep. Nina's got the... I'm gonna have Mortimer do it. Mortimer, get up and put Whitney to bed. Yeah, see, she's crying now. Oh, my God. Oh my god, Nina, like, autonomously came to... Look at Nina. I love it. Who's the dad of this kid? It is, it is Mortimer. It is indeed Mortimer. For sure. Yeah, let's go to their memory. Yeah, let's just check out some memories. I can show you some history. Okay, so... Oh dear. Yeah, because, like, I kind of clickbaited this stream, but I'm not... But, like, I'm not because it's... It's a dramatic save file. It's very, very cheaty and very, yeah, very reality TV. So, Negat died. Oh, look, Katrina Caliente. Oh, God, don't get me started. Okay, so, had very first woohoo with Michael. I'm just trying to get to the point where I started playing. Kissed Dawn for the first time. Okay, great. She had a burglar. She met Gordon. Michael, oh, never mind. I didn't see that. In inherited money from Michael. Positive memory. Repo Man. Where is it? Met Met Mortimer. Best friends with Mortimer. Okay. Got engaged to Mortimer. Okay, here we go. 
Now, this is a negative memory. There is a mod yeah, to fix it. It's supposed to be a negative memory for... Um, it's, it's supposed to be a negative memory for romance sims oh, only, I believe. But yeah, fortune what? sims, especially who are getting married to a rich person, it should be a positive memory. So there's a mod to fix that. It doesn't bother me so much that I that I bothered to install it. Mortimer joined the family, got, got married to Mortimer, a rich sim. Alexander joined the family because he moved in with Mortimer. Did woohoo with Mortimer. Made first BFF, opened first business. Then she met all these people at her business because she's at her business. Uh, they had cockroaches, I guess, at some point. So all these people that she meets are just from working. <laughs> then she got master of sales. So she's like the person who makes people buy things. Be best friends with Alexander. So she gets along really well with Alexander. And I'm like, Maybe when he's done college, because he's going to inherit half of the money that Cassandra has, right? So I'm like, maybe Dina going to go after this. I don't know. It's it's given Kelsey, but I don't know. I might do it. We'll see. Okay, back to the memories. Oh, yes. Okay. So she has five best friends. She's What do her relationships look like? Yeah, so she's not cheating right now, I don't think. I don't think she's cheating, but she caught Dawn cheating. So even though she's married, <laughs> so Dina's married to Mortimer. I'm going to follow her. So what's she doing? Do not get abducted, please. What is she using a telescope for? So anyway, so she caught Dawn cheating on a community lot. She caught Dawn cheating again. She lost Dawn as a best friend. Lost. Oh, she lost Nina as a best friend because she saw Dawn and Nina kissing. Oh my God, lost a fight with Nina. Nina kicked her butt. So, and now Nina's taking care of her kids. So yeah, like I said, like I have a problematic pleasant view. Anyway, then she had Whitney <laughs> and then she had her baby. Uh, she won best of the best award for her business and stuff. So yeah, she's been doing stuff. Mortimer, new grandchild, Sandra, new grandchild, Timothy. Yeah, so so he has all those grandchildren memories from Cassandra having all those babies, right? So that's what all this is. Mortimer has been doing pretty good. He has mostly positive memories. Zachary got a D. Oh, he knows that his grandson did badly in school. Yeah, because Zachary has to take care of some of the kids. Who is that? What is John? What the hell's happening? What the hell's happening? What's John Burb doing? What's going on? Go away. What's? Why are they here? Okay, Nina and Mortimer are playing catch outside, which is fine, I guess. Oh, yes. Okay, Alexander electrocuted himself at some point. He got, oh, he got membership to a secret lot. He peed himself. Yeah, it's been busy. Then he remembers all the family stuff. Bella got abducted by aliens. I forgot about that. I wonder whose fault that was. Nina or Dina. Probably Dina. You always saw Cassandra as seeing Dina as a gold digger. Yes. Yeah, I don't know if they know each other very well. Have they met? <laughs> I think she just stays away from her. Oh no, look at all these people. See, Dina meets people like one time to sell them something. So she's sold all these people crap from her store. Some of her customers do not like her though, as we can see. Oh, she doesn't like the burglar. Oh my God, Whitney, what are you doing? You're in the green. I thought you were doing fine. Now she just wants to be let out. Dina is not going to do it. Okay, Nina needs to eat. I'm just going to cheat her hunger up a little bit so that way she can potty train again. Because I don't have the mod installed to make teaching the skills easier. So I kind of give myself creative liberty, like just to cheat her hunger a smidge so that way we can get the potty training done or whatever. Oh my God, Dina, I'm gonna move the potty. That here, come on, potty train Whitney. Go home, John. Okay, Alexander, tell him to go. Why can't you tell him to go? D, but where is it? Force error. Reset. Where is he going? What the hell is he doing? Don't pet the skunk. Is he leaving? Good. Alexander's literally making drinks as a teenager. 
Okay, it's Saturday morning. It's time for him to go to university, I think. You're here, you made it. Yeah, I'm still going for a while. Toddlers are cute but annoying. I like, most of my households have toddlers at all times. Like, if you can get pregnant, you'll be pregnant in my save file. If you can't get pregnant, you'll be adopting. <laughs> so that's just how it's going. <laughs> Every household in my, in my save file usually has kids. What is the running? What's happening? Do I have vermin? No, he's not available to talk. Oh, those are butterflies. Okay, good. The maid's here. That's about time. Okay, it's time for Alexander, who's hungry to... Because he's, he's already starting to get a drinking problem, so he may as well go to college. I'm not going to play the university, because I did that in one of my most recent... Pleasant View streams. So we'll do university later. I already have Lucy there and I want to get Bo there because then there's three of them at least. Okay, what are we doing? Go to, where is it? University. I have too many, because I, I have that hacked computer so there's more options. I can't keep track of it. I'm just going to hit apply for scholarships one last time. What? Apply for scholarships, please. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, now it's up there. What's happening? This house does not have the best routing. Will it solve the drinking problem? No, it'll make it worse, but I don't care. Whitney is here gaining skills autonomously while Dina does nothing. You know what? Once he goes to college, we should just, like, okay. What does he do? SimCity Scholars Grant. He already got a couple scholarships, I think, so that's fine. Okay, you can go. Go to university. Oh, whoops. I'm on the wrong person. College, move to college. You don't have to move them to college this way, but I usually do it this, this, this way. Stop it. God, the basketball is one of those items they have to go all the way to the item for. There's a few of those. Alexander is about to leave this household, move to college. Yes. See you. <laughs> you meant Kikimura, but it corrected me. Hi, CJ. CJ still here. A taxi is here. Take Alexander off. There's look at all these cars. My goodness. Okay, Alexander's moving to college. Not one person cares. Oh, Nina's going to work. That's that's what the other car is. Okay. How's she doing? Oh, she's hungry though. Oh well. A hungry ballet dancer? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't be the first time. Okay. Let's see. What's Dina doing? What's Mortimer doing in that hideous coat? Retired mad scientist. He wants an a, obtain a pet. Talk to Whitney. She hasn't even learned how to talk yet. Sell a masterpiece. Let's see if we can get him painting. He's got high creativity. Let's scrap this painting. Get out of here. Listen to inside jokes. Let's go to the painting. Okay, Dina. What's that? Are you actually looking at your child? No, she's trying to get to the bar. I thought she was gonna pay attention to Whitney and she like kicked her out of the way and now she's going to the rooftop for a drink. My childhood, my goodness. I don't know why your Sims 2 Mortimer looks very Sims 3 to me. I just have default replacements for skin and hair. So it's just like a little more, a little more detailed. Don't sleep there. That's gonna be Whitney's room. Here, repair the TV, make yourself useful. You're not even that tired yet. Dina needs to work. Stop drinking. I'm gonna delete the bar too. Okay. Stop it. Okay. Mortimer received a pension check. Nina's like, yay. Okay, can you water the money plant please? Oh, no one has gold aspiration. Okay, Dina wants to earn money. So I'm just gonna cheat her energy up a little bit. No, she can have a nap actually. She can sleep a little bit. 
Sleep, please. Mortimer gained a mechanical skill for fixing the TV. What was his mechanical skill? Oh my God, he didn't have mechanical. I thought he was Max. Oh no. Oh yeah, if you want to see the not so berry challenge progress, I recommend CJ, not me. I will. Um, I was actually gonna do a not so berry episode today, but I was. I felt more like a Sims 2 stream. I just like to do what I find fun, so I don't have to like push it. And if I'm playing the Calientes in The Sims 2, like I'll be in a good mood, especially if it goes wrong. Okay, I hope Nina gets promoted because we need a little bit more money. We need to buy that diner. But that's why I need to transfer the money to Mortimer. So I'm thinking I'm going to have Cassandra. Here, let me just save again. So I'm going to have Cassandra transfer like 100000 to Mortimer. And then it'll be 200000 for Cassandra, 200000 for Alexander. But I'm not going to give Alexander his until he's back from college. You do not give a college kid hundreds of thousands of dollars. If my sim is too tired to reach their goals, so be it. I only cheat motives tiny bits if I feel I've been screwed out of them. So like, you know, like when you make your sim like try and cook or something and they just don't cook for a little bit, then I'll cheat the needs up a little bit. Okay, how's she doing? She's neglected, but doing all right. Okay, Dina's more energetic now. Put Whitney in the crib. Oh no, we don't have Alexander to babysit anymore. We have to hire a babysitter. Let's just wait till Nina comes home. Nina's tired. Oh, she ate though. She comes home at, oh no. She's gonna be very tired today. You cheat hunger after they've eaten in cuz in my mind, it's illogical to eat three plates of food and not be full cuz your fridge is bad. I understand what you mean. Yeah, it's like, and like you should play really however you want, right? Like for me, I don't want it to be too easy, but I also don't want it to be like stupid hard. And yes, I have the white lamp of death in their room. Idea, Dina gets together with Malcolm because he's rich and they're both business owners. She could go see Malcolm. I think she knows Malcolm. Sorry, there's something on my leg. My goodness. Uh, let's see, I think she knows Malcolm already. Let's see. Hmm. Not very well, apparently. That him? No. Oh, maybe he doesn't. Somebody knows Malcolm. I know I've met Malcolm before, but she owns businesses. She ate. <laughs> What's seven plus one? I don't know. I don't know math. Iced coffee. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> Oh, me and Rick CJ and Rakowski are both a joy. You're you're right. <laughs> I agree with that statement. When someone compliments me, I'm like, you're so smart. <laughs> okay, you're on the toilet again. Okay, let's just go. Uh we'll just hire a babysitter. I want to get this going. So go somewhere. I'm gonna bring Mortimer with me. Yes, we're gonna hire a babysitter. Nanny. There we go. Good, the nanny's coming. I don't like her. You are smart, absolutely. You have very good taste, I will say that. Okay, go, let's go guys. We're gonna go to Dina's Boutique. I used to have Nina help out. Actually, I still do have Nina help out a lot. Okay, wake up. Oh my God, I'm just gonna cheat his bladder a little bit. It's just so we can make it to the bathroom. Go! Okay, I don't know if he showed up or not because he couldn't get down the stairs because of the nanny. Ugh, I'm trying to get myself more comfortable. I kind of want an ice cream sandwich, but I don't want black teeth for the stream. Okay, Dina is here, Mortimer is not, that's fine. Oh, cancel. Okay. I love how she wants to buy new jewelry, but it's her business. Open business. Oh, she has employees too, let's just call them in. Okay, she needs to do some restocking because we're out of certain things. Nay, nay. 
I think. Yeah, Nene. Let's see what she wants to to buy. Oh, she's looking at watches. So Nina has this special skill where she can like dazzle customers and make them buy like anything. That's her favorite thing. Oh good, Liz Ramirez is here. Oh no, she's not a good salesperson, stop it. Okay, management, you're fired. I'm just gonna say assign, be cashier. Oh, she did like it, okay. I'm gonna make her be the cashier though. I'm gonna have Nina go around and- Wait, I don't like how they shot for this book on this side. Okay, Lisa Ramirez is trying to get to the cash register. Oh my God, Bella's here. Oh, this is scandalous. What is Bella doing here? She's supposed to be missing. It's the, it's the clean template, so she still exists in the game. Do not go have a water balloon fight. Do not have a water balloon fight. Forget that. Dina and working, it's just not happening. Okay. Management. Assign. Okay, so she's assigned as, what is it? Ah. Management, get back to work as cashier. Perfect. Oh, they don't like each other now. Hurry up. This is awful. Look at the lineup. Okay. Bring up these customers too. Let's go, Dina. Move it, Dustin. Oh my God, he's stuck. No, I made this store too small. Okay, go here. We're gonna lose everybody. Okay, I'm just gonna hard sell him. Sometimes if I just like get them to buy it, then they move. Perfect. Now go here so he can get out of the way. God, this cashier is so slow. Perfect, get in there, go, go, go. Yes, I got her behind the counter. One second. Wait. Eh. Half wall. I don't care if there's no door right now. There we go. There we go. Dina's better at the cash register. She likes money. Why is the boutique selling books? It's a uh, just just an impulse purchase. That's all it is. An impulse purchase at the cash register. Maybe I won't restock it. Why why doesn't Dustin go to the other cash register? <coughs> Excuse me. God, this isn't going well, is it? Okay now, okay, now I can get Dina out of there. Oh no. I don't think having one side closed is very good. I guess I could put like a gate or something. Oh no, I got a bad review. What's my reflections doing that for in the mirror? So we're a rank six business. Have I picked all my perks? Your business has received a positive review. Yeah, let's just go through like the business stuff. Cause like, I don't know if I've, it's not everyone understands open for business. It's a very elaborate expansion pack. And depending on how you play and like what kind of businesses you do, you won't encounter certain things. So let's see. Oh, the speakers. I need to get rid of the speakers. Hope I don't get demonetized. Oh, well. Uh, ooh, no, cancel. I'm gonna save it. I keep, I, every time something happens, I'm like, I need to save it. Business rank six, empowered emporium, business value 30,000, customer loyalty 58 stars. So here you can see your customers, if they like you, if they don't like you, if they come multiple times and have good experiences, these things go up. My Sims seem to have bad experiences at times because Dean is lazy. Now they're just standing at the cash register even though people need help. So they're about to be, they're gonna figure it out themselves. Yeah, see he's see, he's gonna buy the perfume on, on his own. I'm gonna have Lisa, uh, let me see, unassign. Okay, she has to cash out this customer. 
Mm. Let me see. Management, assign, um, restock items. That's the thing I like to do the least. Bella gave the bad review. Of course she did. She hates us. She's like, Ugh. oh my god, why is Lisa in love with one of the customers? I should fire her. Who's calling? Who is that? I don't even know who that is. Pamela Chun? She's like, I don't recycle. Okay, you know what? Sales. You're good at sales. I'm gonna cancel that interaction. Sales dazzle. Oh no! Dina's getting hungry and tired, and it's like midnight. Why are people shopping for fashion? You didn't get the point of open for business as a kid. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like I understand. Like it's, it's one of those packs that you appreciate more as you get older. Like I find some things I appreciate less in the games, and some things I appreciate a lot more. And open for business is one of those. The one expansion pack that I always loved for this game was apartment life, because like I've never really lived in houses before. It's always been apartments, so like. It just felt more, like, realistic to me. Dina. She's looking out the window. Okay, hard sell. Dazzle. Dazzle. Okay, good. Everything's being restocked nicely. Oh my god, Brandy's pregnant! Okay, we have to switch to Brandy. I forgot she was pregnant. So we have to start thinking of, of a name. Z-Y-X-W-V-U-T-S-R-Q-P. We need a P name for Brandy's baby. I don't know if it's going to be good or bad. Oh, no. Alan did not like that. Okay, things are not going too good. I'm just going to do the cashier thing. And then just, and then we'll, and then we'll end. We'll end this family. You love free time the most, but Seasons is a close second. Free time is the other expansion pack for The Sims 2 that I didn't even buy it for The Sims 2. I was like, what the hell is this? Because what the thing is, in The Sims 2, as you can see, I'm so busy in The Sims 2. There's always something to do. There's always things I have to take care of. So like, I thought free time, I do not have free time when I'm playing The Sims 2. So that's fine. Okay, close business and let's go home. Bye, everybody. Good luck getting home, girl. Let's go. Well, that was something, wasn't it? How long have I been live for? My goodness. Okay, I've been live for an hour. That's good. So, yeah, maybe we can do like an hour each family. Let's try that. Okay, save. <laughs> the other thing is I've spent a lot more time in this family. Any family with businesses or goes out a lot, you have a lot, a lot more time with. So I like how with the families I don't really enjoy, I can just speed through them kind of, just get their needs, make them go to work, have a baby or whatever. But with the families I really like, like Nina and Dina, then they can have a business. That that gives them extra play time. You can take them downtown. You can take them to the shopping district. Sometimes I just take Dina shopping, like to buy things, because she likes buying things. Okay. I saved it. I'm going to save it one more time for good measure, and then let's go to the neighborhood. We'll pop in and see Brandy. Ooh, Brandy. Aren't you excited? Oh my god, I almost burped. Okay, neighborhood. My coffee's done. Okay, how's the music going? Okay, so we'll take a quick bathroom and like coffee break and stuff. Oh, one second. Fun fact about clean templates. Michael, Darlene, and Skip are safe to resurrect. Yes, absolutely. So all of the dead ones that have the tombstones, I think if you get the clean template Strange Town as well, there's two of them. I like the one. So meet me to the, is it meet me to the river who does the clean templates? I use all of hers except Strange Town because I do not like the aging changes in Strange Town. I just, it throws me off. It's quite fun. Yes. Okay. So I'm just going to use the washroom and just grab, grab, grab a new uh, cup of coffee. And then, yeah, I guess we'll just get right back into it. I don't, so we'll take maybe five minutes max break. Oh no, it's getting darker here. Why is my camera so dark? 
I'm gonna change. I'm just gonna fix a few things. Cause I haven't seen my I haven't seen my OBS since we started. So let's see. Properties, configure. Let's see. How's that? Ooh, that's way better. Okay, that's way better. Okay, we'll be back in five minutes. Okay, how we doing? Can we hear me? Am I back? The music is instant nostalgia. Alphabet naming every child yourself? Yes, reverse alphabet. So, see. So, where I'm living now is a climate where it gets cloudy and sunny all of a sudden, and I'm trying to use natural light for this. So, I'm going to try and fix it a little bit. Right in my face a little bit. There we go. Thumbnail. Ah! <laughs> Keep going through tunnels. Oh, you're going through tunnels, so then you can't, so then like you lose connection for a little bit. Well, we just had a break, and looks like people didn't leave, so that's that's really nice. Thank you so much for staying around. Usually when people go on break on stream, like, I go on break too, but for longer. <laughs> Okie doke. Just double check, make sure the sound's all good, and I'm gonna go into the broke family. Why waste time, right? <laughs> Okay, poor pregnant Brandy. How far along is she? She's gonna give birth any second. Okay, we need names. I need to look back. Okay, I need, okay, I see Penelope. P Penelope or Patrick. Oh, I like that. I like, I like those names. My phone's falling now, no. Oh my God, the, all I can see is a bath. Brandy's taking a bath and the tub is just going crazy. Maybe she's not pregnant. I don't know. I can't tell yet. She was pregnant in the community lot, so we'll see. Yeah, so Bo needs Bo needs to be played a little bit more. So we have four days left in spring for this one. Patriarch. Oh my god. Yeah, so Bo's taking care of Victoria. Okay, good. Brandy is pregnant. Yay! I like it. Yeah, so she has the, uh, the want to have a baby locked in. Brandy is a secondary romance aspiration. <laughs> So she wants to woohoo with five different sims. She's already woohooed with, let's see. It looks like she's woohooed with two. Yeah, two. Well, two who are alive. I guess three, if you count. Where is Skip's grave? I don't remember. Is it even on the lot? <laughs> oh, she has weeds. She needs to trim her bushes. Oh, she has a date. She has flowers from a date. Let's see. Let's look at those. Stop playing. Let's get the needs panel going. Okay, so she's hungry. 
We're gonna have her serve breakfast. It's already pancakes. Dear Brandy, I never knew two Sims like us could share such happy hours. Each lovely second's memory smells sweeter than these flowers. Cooper. Aw, that's cute. Okay, keep cooking. How's he doing? So he's hungry, that's fine. Repair this, you may as well. You're the only one who's gonna do anything. How's Robert doing? Robert is about to talk to Victoria, that's good. How's she doing? Victoria's good, she needs a bath soon though, so we'll have to give her a bath. How old is she? So she's three days until a child as well. So she's relatively new. Yeah, I tend to have like babies close to get. Oh no, I'm gonna need another crib again. I'm gonna need two cribs. What am I gonna do? So I have two beds for the boys and I'm gonna need two cribs. So let's see what we can do here. Hmm, the pinball machine. Let's put it in Brandy's room. Second, oh my God, she's got so much crap. What's this? Oh, okay, so this is her welfare application. Oh no, what did I do? Where'd it go? I gotta put it somewhere, I'm just gonna put it outside. I don't have a tile for it. Okay, I'm gonna put this decoration here, put her pinball machine by the window. Can I put these in the living room or the kitchen? I could. She has a lot of counters, but now she only has one counter space left. What am I, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna put them, uh, what's this? Okay, so remember the books in Dina's store? So Brandy wasted her money on them. So she had them here. So I have them out. It's so funny. So yeah, okay, we'll leave that there. This rabbit can go inside here, I guess. Move the computer. Okay, let's put the computer here. We'll put another crib. There we go. It's gonna change the color. I don't know if it's gonna be a boy or girl, so I'm just gonna make it yellow. We'll do a yellow crib. I have a pink crib for Victoria and a white changing table. I know that's in front of the phone. I'll move it in a second. Okay. I want the cribs separated by the changing table. And I'm gonna make the changing table a different color too. Hmm. I'll make it yellow to match the P. Okay, is that all gonna work? Uh, I don't like this potty. So the other thing too is that the potty doesn't fit in the bathroom because as you can see, I made the bathroom into like Brandy's ensuite and like the family bathroom and just made them six tiles. So we have to keep the potty here. Locked by the door. I guess we'll just do it here. We'll see how it all works. Mm. If I move, one second. I'm gonna move the shower here. I'll move the door here. Are you serious? Is it because of the shower? Or is it because of the puddle? Okay, forget it then. I guess we'll just, how much is this? 156, let's just delete it. There we go camo changing table is that for the dads who don't see caring for their child is manly enough Urgh, i'm a man i need a camo changing table for my baby yeah it sounds pretty manly to me youtube recommends me this live thanks youtube good suggestion you love the sims 2 me too welcome I play The Sims 2 and The Sims 3, and sometimes The Sims 1, and sometimes complain about The Sims 4, but I don't really play it. I just pop in and out, just make sure it's still broken. Okay, Brandy broke. Have your, she's a pig. Look at her eat. Yeah, for the grunts. It's literally for the grunts. You're right, it is. That's so funny. But they don't even have a toddler. Not anymore. Sandy Broody. What's she doing? I don't trust her. Oh, she's fearing throwing up. That's not good. She might. Oh my god. Victoria's just playing in the puddle. Neglected Victoria Pleasant, who's probably never met her father. Yeah, she has not met her father. Let's go into her family tree. So yeah, look at, look at that. So Daniel has... Angela and Lilith and Victoria. It's Jen. Oh, right. I was like, Jen because she used to be Jennifer Pleasant. 
So all their kids are legit. That's good. I'm just popping through the family tree to see if there's anything I forgot about. Everything looks good there. How's Brandy doing? Yeah, so her first three kids were all from Skip. Her fourth is from Victoria. I was like, Brandy has a granddaughter. I, I didn't even think of it that way. I'm like, she's a granddaughter. Oh my God, she's still having babies. Daniel Pleasant, you dog. I don't know all that. All the pleasant men, they're always dogs. Daniel, Andrew, you know. <laughs> Did you miss anything? You're making dinner. Nothing really. We just loaded up Brandy. Brandy's about to give birth like any minute. She's hanging out and playing with Robert. That's kind of nice. See, the good thing about Brandy is that she's a family sim. So she always like, you know, she does, she does better trying to interact with her kids. Let's go back to the needs panel. Everyone seems to be doing all right, except Brandy, because she's pregnant. Okay, fix this. Fix this and clean up. I wish we had a maid, but it's Brandy, so we can't really. I wish you could afford a bigger house. Which letter are you on for the name? We're on P. We're on P. Log out. CJ, I'm not logging out. I'm going to keep going. Aw, Robert's playing with Victoria. She likes it. Who does Victoria like the most? She likes Brandy the most, and then she likes Bo. She doesn't like Robert as much yet. Oh my god, no, you're gonna wake up Brandy. I shouldn't have put the pinball machine in here. She's pregnant. She's not gonna have any sleep. Okay, go to the bathroom then. If you're up, go to the bathroom. You can play. Why are you even playing pinball? You're on max fun. Bo, I swear to goodness. Fix the bathtub. Stop playing with the baby. Brandy received a social welfare of $751. Oh no, she pooped her diaper. Phoebe. Oh, I love Phoebe. I like Phoebe better than Penelope. Oh, I might like Pierce better than Patrick, but I don't think Pierce, I don't think Brandy would name her kid Pierce. I do think Patrick is more of a Brandy's kid name, but I do like Phoebe. Put pinball outside. I know I could. Oh, no. Oh, no. She does know about it. Mary Sue knows about the affair. Look, she hates Brandy. I didn't know she knew. Oh, no. She stole the newspaper. Oh, well. Okay. Brandy, I think, has more mechanical skill because Brandy is handy. Okay. We need to get people. Okay. Go to bed. How's the baby? Energy and hygiene low. Yeah, let's just like change Victoria. Oh my God. Okay, bathe Victoria. Oh no, we can't because the tub's broken. Oh well. Okay, you know what? Forget it. Go to the bathroom. I shouldn't have made the bathroom small. This house is too small for this many Sims, and we're gonna have a fifth. Okay, she needs to she needs to get a new a new house. I think the trailer is not big enough. I kind of wanted her to move into Value Victorian, but I don't know if like she can afford it. What? How? How's their household funds at? Okay, put the baby to sleep then. She can sleep in her own filth. Repair it. Stop it! Oh no, what's Robert doing? Oh my god, he wants to dance. Okay, Robert is driving me nuts. Everyone, go to the bathroom. He's not very good at repairing, so he's gotta like do it a few times. Come on, you're almost there. Yes! Okay, now mop up the puddle. Mop up all the puddles. Okay, Victoria's sleeping in a dirty diaper. That's fine. Everyone's crammed up by the door frame. Brandy's gonna pass out. Just go to sleep. Oh no, maybe she can eat pancakes quickly. Okay, eat first, then go to sleep. Oh no, she fell asleep in the food. I hate when that happens. Okay, well she can sleep a little bit. Eh. Oh no, now the food went bad. Now she's eating the bad food, but she's not a neat sim, so it's okay, whatever. That's enough hunger for her to like not die. Go to sleep. You're gonna give birth any second now. Stop it. Oh no, he's playing pinball again. Okay, it's gonna wake her up. Stop it. Okay, I'm stressed out. If it happens, you can eat a snack.
Name the kid Pinball. Oh my god, I didn't see that. Peter, Patricia. I like Patricia too. Patricia sounds like a good broke name. I like Penny. I, If I did Penelope, I would name her Penny instead. I like Penny. Okay, I like Phoebe. I like Penny. Usually we don't have enough good name suggestions, but this time we have too many. I'm sorry, I don't know. I did not see the front in his house makeovers. I'm sorry. Okay, what's going on here? Only two days left before Victoria's birthday, I bet. Robert will grow up in just one day and we're gonna give birth. Okay, Robert's gonna be a teenager. Okay, Bo, okay, Bo is the only one keeping this family together. Answer the phone. Answer the phone. Good, it's for him. Luke. Oh, I think Luke is like, Luke is like his friend from school or something. I'll let them talk a little bit. Oh my God, Victoria. Okay, bathe Victoria because Lord knows Brandy's not gonna do it. Parker, Parker's too much of a rich boy name, I think. That's the problem I had with Pierce. I picture prep school Pierce, prep school Peter, sorry, prep school Parker. And I'm like, I don't think, I don't think it's, who's the father of the baby is my question. It might be this guy, Cooper. It might be Cooper's baby. Oh, we should have them get married. Maybe he'll bring money. Let's get them married. I just, I just realized that. I'm like, oh my God, Brandy can get married. She wants to get, she wants to be best friends with him. So if they become best friends after the baby's born, then maybe I'll invite him over to take care of the baby. So how's this going? I'm just gonna turn up my my saturation again or my my gain. Ah, there we go. My lighting keeps changing. Okay, good. Victoria's getting a bath for once. Ooh, Paul's nice. I like Paul too. Paul is, a, is like a middle-aged man. Yeah, I'm old, so maybe that's why I like the name. Hi, Aesthetics. What a cute name. I love that name. Okay, Brandy's getting up. What's she doing? Is she gonna give birth? Is she gonna give birth? Yes, she's giving birth. Okay, we're having a baby. Let's see what happens. Baby, baby, baby. I'm having a baby. Happy Friday. Let's see. Okay, here we go. The hourglass is going. There is a new family member on the way. Okay, I, okay, so the thing is, I always give the baby the last name of the father if it's a single mother because then I can remember, like, it's Victoria Pleasant, so that way I don't forget that it's Daniels in case I have to, like, hide it, like, you know, in case there's drama happening as usual. This is your second time. Well, welcome. Was the first time the other day, or was it? Oh no, I didn't click anything, so the game just took it. I can always change it later and sim PE. Have a good stream, thank you. Okay, we're gonna have the baby with the cutscene. Okay, what, what, what eye color? Green eyes, so it doesn't have Brandy's eye color. Baby girl, okay. I liked Penny. I liked, let me see. I liked Penny. I liked Patricia. I liked Phoebe. Okay, Phoebe or Penny. I wish I could do, here, one second. I'm gonna see if I can do this. Can I start a poll? Okay. I'm gonna do Phoebe or Penny. So what should we name the baby? The baby girl. So I'm putting a vote on the stream. So if you're chatting, you should see the vote and you should be able to click on the name that you want. And if you're just listening in the background, don't worry about it. But if you do have a preference, then go into the poll and start clicking because that's how we're gonna decide. We got quite a few people going. We got like 50 people, so we'll see. Ooh, it's like 50-50. Oh, look at you. I love, I love that actually. There we go. 
Penny, Penny, Augustina, Phoebe, Penny. I don't believe links are allowed in the chat. I don't think it's going to let it anything happen. Both are cute names. Yeah, I know. Vote is tight. Okay, Phoebe's at 52. Okay, Phoebe going once. I'll go a little slower because I know I'm about 10 seconds delayed. Going once, going twice. Sold as Phoebe. Okay. Penny almost got it. But here we go. Phoebe. That, I spelled it correctly, right? It's Phoebe. Phoebe broke. Okay, I'll change her name later. That's fine. Yay. Oh, yes. <gasps> she wants to get married. Okay, great. Okay, I love it. So this is the thing, though. Like, I... I do play very wants based, but I always have in my mind what I want to do with the family. And usually with this, this is what I like about the Sims too, is that the Sims want to do what I'm thinking because I'm thinking what would they want to do? It does that, does that make sense? Like, she's not like, okay, I had my baby. Now I want to buy a bee box. Like, you know, it's, it's like now I want to get married to the father. So <laughs> let's do that. So she unrolled her want to, have to, I, I almost said the F word. She, she unrolled the want to, uh, What's another word for that? <laughs> uh, get frisky with five Sims. Now she wants to have 10 kids and get married. How many kids does she have now? Five? Yeah, she has five. We, how many? Oh no, eight days. She cannot have, unless she has quadruplets. We could make cheesecake and try. Okay, let's, let's get married to him and see how much money he has. Okay, call the Sim, invite him over. Call him, invite him over. Let's do this. I'm going crazy. I didn't see the link show up, so I don't think it's, yeah, I don't think it's possible. Sims 4 wants and whims don't make any sense. When they were like, we're bringing back wants and fears, I was like, I doubt it. <laughs> that was my first thought. Brandy is a baby machine. Of course, all my Sims are baby machines. So when they are baby machines and I want them to have babies, then it's double bad. I do have a Discord server. I'll put a, oh, I should have put a link in the description. I might be able to do that. Let's see. So I'm going to see if I can put the link in the description. Invite people. Copied. Discord server. Okay, so I edited I edited the description of the of the stream, like the video. So if you refresh it, then you should be able to see um, the link for my Discord in the description below. Oh, I have to end the poll. Sorry, there we go. I'm not very good at streaming. I'm a YouTube content creator who streams for fun. I don't consider myself a streamer. Well, welcome Wednesday. Nitro cannot hear me. Can you hear me now? What happened? What happened? Wait, you had the video muted. Okay, I was like, cause, cause I, cause I kind of alt tabbed to fix something. Oh my God, he's here. Okay, answer the door. Greet Cooper. Answer the door and propose. Hand baby to boat. Oh no, he left. Okay, God. Call. My God, this baby. She's hungry too. Okay, I'm gonna cheat her a little bit. Okay, go. Invite over. Because the routing on this house is garbage, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit. We're so unhelpful with the poll results. I know, right? It's like 50-50. That's so funny. I liked it though. I know you're hungry, but you also have to pee, so why don't you do that too? Go pee. Go pee pee. Pee 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 pee. Okay, answer the door this time. Who the hell is that? Greet Cooper. Go, 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 go. Oh, good. They're greeted really nicely. Brandy received welfare again. Okay, kiss. Romantic. I'm going to ask her to leave. Or is it propose? Marriage. She's going to the fridge first. She needs a snack. Okay. Get him inside. And then 
He sees the baby. He's gonna, oh, he's going to play pinball, of course. Oh God, maybe he's gonna be a loser. Okay, proposed marriage. This dog is like on my lap right now. It's like trying to get to me. So if you hear noises, that's what that is. Oh, are they getting married? They're getting married. Okay, cause like I was gonna do like a proper wedding for them, I think the last time I played. But as you can see with Brandy, there isn't really time. There isn't really time for that. Sim in icon. Let's do that. Cooper is moving in and brought 13,000 simoleons in funds. Oh, they both wanted to get married. Look at that. Oh, good. They both got platinum then probably. Oh, he's he's not in platinum. God, he was doing bad then, but he got a plus 5,000. Okay. He's a fortune sim, so that means he can make money for the family and she can have babies. Yes. Okay, 18,885, save. I'm saving. My God. Okay, great. So that's good. Now we can move them into a decent house, but I'm gonna have to readjust the season. Make sure I get that right. So see how it's like, it's almost summer anyway. All the new houses start in summers. This is actually really good timing. He likes sports. Okay, we have to remember that. Uh, his hobbies. Yeah, so he has a lot of enthusiasm in sports already. So we'll have to keep that in mind. I do have the Tripleton Quad mod installed. I don't know if I have Brandy on Super Fertility. Let's check. I'm going to make that actually. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so she does have Super Fertility already. Uh, she has some of that one she has one more of these what should i do life of luxury i'll just do social and comfort no she needs i already have hunger and stuff done okay i'm just gonna do motive ones for her because she's gonna have a lot of babies now i'm gonna lock in have 10 babies and we're gonna see if we can make it happen so she has high cooking skill so she could like make cheesecake she's level eight cooking she can make cheesecake i think or is it nine for cheesecake? Let me see. Oh my God. How much, how much do you need for cheesecake? Can you remember? Can someone remember? This dog. Hello. Oh my goodness. Yay, we got the baby. How's the baby? The baby is suffering. Okay. But it's asleep, that's okay. This dog. Up, up. Here we go. There we go. There is not a way for me to allow you to send links, and I would prefer if you didn't as well, please. Okay. Okay, you're starving to death. These needs are not going well, so we're gonna have to focus exclusively on needs for a little bit. He rolled the want to go to college. I'll lock that in for him. Okay, do you have any cooking skill? You have two cooking skill. You also work in, no, you do not work in the morning, so you can serve breakfast then. No, Brandy. Brandy's the only one who knows how to make omelets. She's mostly hungry and dirty, so that's fine. We can serve breakfast. I'm gonna make omelets even though it's three in the morning. All I hear is babies crying. This is typical. Okay. You're gonna need to eat something when you wake up. How are you doing? Oh, but you're only a child, so you need to age up. Stomach growling, restock the fridge by order. Oh, we have to get the birthday cake. Okay, so I need to age him up and he can help take care of the babies. He can have blue candles. Because it was the first one I clicked. Oh no, I moved. <laughs> I got. I moved in her space. Okay. Serve. Okay, everyone can just eat cake then. Blow out candles. Go for it. Go, 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 go. Okay, let's see Robert age up. So that way he can feed the baby. Is he gonna wait for everyone to come over? Yes, he is. So Brandy and Cooper are cheering him on. So is Bo. Let them eat cake, literally. Oh, it's seven points. Okay, good. So then I just have to find it. Yay! Okay, great. 
So he's aged up. Did he age up well is the question. He likes music and dance. Just like his brother. Oh my God. Oh my God, Robert is no longer a child. Okay. His turn-ons are fatness and black hair. His turn-off is formal wear. Oh dear, given Andrew. Anyway, um, let's let's just uh, let's just pick an aspiration. So, what should we pick for him? That that's that's a good question to ask now. I think I usually pull up their personality and stuff, but sometimes it's like you know what? You might have a like a popularity sim who doesn't have any because like you know, you know when you want like when there's people who want attention but they got no riz. You know that like that's kind of what I'm thinking sometimes when I when I do a sim family I already I have a lot of family sims already <laughs> we could do family I like having male sims be family sims too because like if you end up with just the girls as family sims then they want to have babies and the men don't want to have babies and it's just like I don't know it's boring when the men want to have babies and the women don't that's when it's like you know then you can only make one of them happy Okay, we're getting answers for everything. Family, popularity, romance, fortune. <laughs> yep, so we just don't want to do a pleasure sim, which I agree. Hmm. Yeah, so nobody wants knowledge either. Okay, so we're kind of on fortune, family, popularity. Make him super keen to flirt and kiss, but fail. Grilled cheese, we could do grilled cheese. I haven't, I haven't done grilled cheese in forever, but I want to do it right now. Okay. Popularity. Okay, family or fortune. He has knowledge. Is he supposed to have knowledge as primary? If he has knowledge as prime, no, I think Bo has knowledge already though. Let's do popular. I haven't because like I don't. I don't think I've had a popular sim since Angela, <laughs> Angela and Lilith. He has knowledge, that's why no one's saying it. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I'll do popularity. And he likes overweight people with dark hair who dress casual. Phoebe is not gonna, oh, I could just age Phoebe. <laughs> oh, that's a different Phoebe, it's Phoebe Smith. Oh my God, yeah, sure, let's do it. Perfect, okay. Well, perfect, except for the fact that this baby is not doing very well. Okay, now, now that you're a teenager, it's time for you to learn how to parent. So you're gonna change the baby's diaper. Oh no, I'm gonna, no, it's bathe, in, bathe, bathe Phoebe in the sink, in the kitchen sink. Not that it's a kitchen sink anyway, but bathe Phoebe in that sink. Go on, hurry up. Okay, back to the needs panel, eat. Eat more cake. Brandy. Eat more cake. There we go. Brandy needs a bath. Actually, she can have a shower now that she's not pregnant. I just didn't want her to slip, so I gave her... I, I was making her take baths for a bit. Well, that was a successful little broke day. That was a good 24 hours. See, this is the thing. Like... I played the Calientes for one day. Now this is the Brokes for one day. Like a lot happens in this game. It moves pretty quick. She wants to go on vacation, but I think she should buy the house instead. What does he want to do? Still just earn money, go to college, get an A plus report card. He's gonna get it. Victoria wants to age up well. I'll do it at 6 p.m. We can, honestly, I wanna age up Victoria just to make it easier. And we can send Bo to college. We gotta get Brandy pregnant. Let's just do that right away. Why, why, why are we waste, why are we wasting time? Relax. You too, relax. She just showered, so that's a good time. Perfect. Great. You left right after they got married? Well, we, we aged up Robert and that's it so far. We're about to try and get pregnant again. We're gonna get pregnant. We're gonna eat some cheesecake. Second, brandy, try for baby. Let's do it. 
Hurry up. Let's do it. Yeah! I'm gonna fix my camera again a little bit. Now it's too bright. Why can't this just be like automatic? Let's try that. There we go. Okay, so they had their little, their little romance. <laughs> Did you hear that? We got the ching. Ding a ling ding ding ding. You're gonna go record, so you'll be back. No worries. I I usually go for three hours, so good luck. See. If I hope it goes well. Sometimes it goes, so, sometimes recording a Sims video is nice and smooth. Like you're like, okay, I got my idea. I need like a 15 minute video. Let's do 30 minutes to an hour of gameplay or whatever you're doing. And it all just records properly and then it edits easy and stuff. And sometimes everything goes wrong. So good luck. <laughs> yeah, so we got the jingle for sure. I don't know if she's having twins yet. Oh no, how do I get the... There we go. I'm like, how do I get the UI back? You can just turn off the UI by hitting F10, by the way. This works in The Sims 2 and 3. Also, I got confused. It was on someone else I thought Robert has a primary knowledge. That's why no one is saying it, but it wasn't even him. Okay, yeah, no, that... I don't, I don't know what they're supposed to have. I just kind of do my own thing. Like I know it's popular in The Sims 2 to be very rigid and structured. And I like to keep some structure, but I'm just like, you know what? Some Sometimes you have shy people who want to be popular. Sometimes you have people with no charisma who want to be a womanizer. So you just end up, you know, with whatever you get. I wish there was a random button. If there was a random button, I would click it every time. Okay, good. They went to school in a decent mood. Victoria loves playing in the dirty bathroom. It's like her favorite thing. Okay, Cooper needs to wake up. Brandy can stay asleep. Put Victoria in the crib. Hurry up. Hurry up. Go. Did she use the potty by herself? Good for her. Look at her go. Okay, we gotta age her up. At six. Let's see. Okay, you're starving and gonna pee yourself. Go to the bathroom and then eat some cake. And then Brandy can make a real meal when she's rested. Do not go to the baby. What does the baby need? Nothing. At least he's, oh, he's gonna feed the, at least he's feeding the baby automatically. Okay, as soon as she gives birth, we'll move them. How about that? Oh my God, this house. I cannot wait to leave this house. For choosing and aspirations, I just, I use an app called Spin the Wheel. Yeah, I use those for some, especially for some streams and let's plays. I'll put things on the wheel and just spin it. Okay. You are so hungry, eat cake. If he dies, look at him. Hunger, desperation. That's no hunger at all. The Sims 3 cake gives you way more hunger. Look at Brandy. She's gonna put the baby on the floor as usual. She's hungry, I wonder why. She hasn't made, f look at her hunger. Okay, you know what, forget this. I'm getting rid of the cake. Oh my God. I can't, I have to move this plate here. Okay. Brandy is gonna serve lunch. She's gonna serve cheesecake, actually. That's what she's gonna do. She's gonna serve cheesecake. Look at her. She's like, am I pregnant? Yes, you are, sweetheart. Okay, take a shower. Do not go to the baby. Take a shower, and then you can clean the whole house. Do not go to the baby. Take a shower, please. For the love of goodness, please take a shower. Get this. Put her down on the floor. See you. Oh, she threw up. Brandy threw up. Oh no. Make cheesecake. <laughs> the thing is in The Sims 2, there's a lot of autonomy around taking care of the babies. That way they don't get taken away. So that seems to be the main thing that interrupts everything, which makes it kind of like interesting. 
it's reason because it's kind of real life. It's like I want to eat lunch, but my baby needs something, so I haven't eaten for two days. Like that's 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 very realistic parent life. Whatever EA goes with will be the silliest idea for The Sims Five possible. I'm sure. Okay, we have to think about this because these these choices have consequences. It's recess time and Robert goes out to play with the other kids when he does something incredible. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to read it more dramatically. He wins all of the marbles with one fell flick of his finger. Should he take them all or distribute them evenly among the other students? Robert, he's popularity, right? So let's distribute them. Although the idea, oh no, it's bad. The, although the idea was a noble one, when all the marbles are divided among all the kids, each only ends up with four mob marbles. Nobody is happy with just four and they all blame Robert who loses games enthusiasm. Okay, well at least he doesn't get like sent to military school. Oh God. Sims 5 will probably ship with even less features than the Sims 4 started. So you have to buy 10 packs just to have gameplay. <laughs> oh God, don't get me started. Oh dear. Let's not think about The Sims 5. Brandy! Oh my god, she's pregnant, so she's losing motives faster again. Hurry up, go to the bathroom. Cheat her hunger a little bit. And then she can make cheesecake for once. I can't believe she's pregnant, and I'm trying to have multiples in this situation. Oh good, he cleans up autonomously. Okay, the kids came home from school, so that's good. You're exhausted, go to sleep. You're also exhausted, go to sleep. Oh, that's, that's a mirror. So I gave Bo the pink bed. I think Bo's gay, so I gave him a pink bed. And this is like the leftover Dustin bed, I guess. I don't know, something. Sims 5 toddlers will be locked behind a paywall. Oh, for sure. Oh, there's no food in the fridge. That's what's happening. Okay. We gotta go to the grocery store. Oh, good. He he can go to the grocery store. Take a cab. Go. That's what's going on. Taxi. Uh, we'll take no, we're not we're not taking anybody with us. Because the boys need to sleep. Brandy needs to sleep. We're gonna pretend that Brandy's gonna take care of the baby. Just like in The Sims 4, when you pretend things. Okay, where should we go? Let's go to Blue Water Village. Let's, let's go to here or else grocery. Go. There we go. I'm not ordering groceries by phone. I never do that. I only do that like if I have to. I want to go to the grocery store. That way we can start drama. <laughs> My goodness. The music. I love it. And I haven't been to Blue Water Village yet since we started playing, so... This is my favorite grocery store because it's like easy. So it's like all the foods here, the cash registers here, it's big and open, like there's space outside. So sometimes I'll, like the customers will like go here and create problems instead of create problems inside the store. So I like that too. Okay. Fine, let's go. Who's here? Kale, no ooh. I'm just gonna, we have money now. So I'm gonna buy all the food, 600. $600 of onions. I do love the shopping basket though. The milk, the sugar, the eggs, the ice cream. It's like, is that like hot dogs? Something, sausages, bangers. I don't know, something. Oh yes, and then you also get the delivery fee too. Oh, he wants to kiss Brandy. Oh, let's, why don't we just greet John Burb for, the, for funsies. Um, why is John Burb fantasizing about Dina. He likes Dina. Oh no. We should greet Dina too because Dina and Brandy are friends. I don't know why. 
Okay. Oh, he's attracted to Dina too. Oh no. Well, let's just let's just chat. Let's hang out. Why not? He's like, I like recycling. She does not. Oh, he's like, it's raining out, so he doesn't want to sit outside with her anymore. Oh no. Oh, they hugged and it worked. I didn't mean to hit hug. I thought it was talk. Oh no. Okay, that's... Let's try again. Charm. Okay, now you can go home. <laughs> I just like to set the little seeds. Do you know what else they do in The Sims 2? They go into the car. Like, watch. We're gonna call the taxi to go home. Even when you don't have a car, you drive. So, like, you know, like, a car will drive you. You can also woohoo in the cars in The Sims 2. I do that a lot with Don and Nina. Because they're always on community lots together. Home. Get, get back to your baby. We don't... Caitlin Jayab... Yaya Palan, the infallibly good witch. Don't say hi to her. Oh my god, I don't want magic right now. Unless it's magic that can take care of the kids instantly. Go home. And I don't really want to work towards magic right now. I've got too much going on in this Pleasant View. See, the thing is, there's so much to do in The Sims 2 that you can't do it all. It's kind of like Disney World. Like, if you try to do it all in one save, it's going to be a mess. Yeah, so like in the cars in The Sims 2, your Sim actually goes into the car, like opens the door. They sit in the car. If they woohoo in the car, the windows fog up. I love that. Okay, we got groceries. So let's see what's going on here. Okay. Put away the groceries. See, look at this too. He takes the groceries from the car and puts them in the fridge. The Sims 4 could literally never like I what's she doing oh she or baby bump boom perfect okay good timing or is it too late for the cheesecake now does that does that affect it okay let's just make cheesecake anyway make sure that she can she doesn't have a counter oh for god's sake look at these plates look at the state of this place okay you know what we have money now. Call service. Made. Perfect. Oh, we have the gay guy. Yes. That might be dramatic too. Cheesecake before the first bump. I thought so. I just wanted to make sure. I tried though. Can I check to see how many she's having? Where is it? Oh my god, there's too much going on. There's too many options. Never mind. Okay. But I do think she can like wait, I think it's Sims 3, but like you can listen to like kids kids music and stuff. In the Sims 3, I think you listen to kids music and like watch kids TV and like that'll all affect it too. I always mix up Sims 2 and Sims 3 because they're so detailed. Okay, who the hell is that? Where's the maid? Is Cooper available to talk? No! No, he's not. He's busy with his baby who is being neglected. Okay, what are we doing with Phoebe? Who's stinky? Is it Phoebe or is it him? It's not him. Bathe Phoebe then. Yeah, we need this bigger house. How many more days? Okay, two days left in spring. I might just... Okay, it's going to be 6 p.m. We're going to age up Victoria. Oh, that means we need another cake. Oh, God. Where's the maid? I'm just going to put the cake... I can't put the cake anywhere but a counter. But I can put the cheesecake on the floor. Okay, that's fine. We'll do that then. Look at the homework just lying around. This is not going well. Okay. Clean up this cake. 
Victoria will grow up in just one day at 6 p.m. Now that Robert is a teenager, it's start, time to start thinking about college. We are not thinking about college right now. Oh, God. Let's see. I need... Where is it? Parties. Okay, we'll get her... I want the rainbow candles. I usually use this, this cake. I think it's the prettiest. The blue and the pink ones, they're not a great blue or pink. Oh, no. I don't want Brandy to blow... To blow it out. I want you to blow... Oh, Brandy's, Brandy's, Brandy's gonna bring her. Okay, bring Victoria to cake. Okay, I wanted to make sure it wasn't Brandy aging up. I need babies. <gasps> I could give him super fertility too. One second. I just thought of something. Because if we only have one kid, then we're gonna need like the triplets and quads mod. Oh, he's been shopping. Look at all this stuff. Oh my God. Look at all the stuff he has. 3,500? Look at this stereo. I'm just gonna sell it. He has two pianos? Look at all this crap he has. Oh my God, we're rich. Four hot tubs. Oh my God, two flat screen TVs. Let's just, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna keep one of those. Uh, I guess we don't need this bookshelf over there now. Put that there the TV here oh my goodness look at this we have things I was gonna put some of it in the house two ovens oh my god a mirror I don't think Brandy has one not a standing one there's one I'm just like redecorating even though we're gonna move soon we can have a video game that's fine with me what's this God, he has so much. Is this a chair? Perfect. Poker table. Two barbecues. Let's keep one. What's this? Wine. Two flamingos. Oh, no, I like that. Let's do two flamingos outside. Delete that. Okay, so now we have 75,000. So he had more money than I thought. Okay, that's good. That means we can get a real house for them, which is good because what is this? One, two, three, four kids with one to four on the way. I think they just can't get pregnant if they're under three days of aging up. I think that's true. So, so she becomes an elder in seven days. I think we have time for one more pregnancy. And if we do it properly, we can get quads. <laughs> I get quads by accident sometimes, so we'll see. But if she doesn't ever 10 babies and only ends up with eight, that's fine. Yay, Victoria. Victoria's aging up. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Look at her go. She's drinking a dirty bottle and she threw up. Grow up. Sometimes it like takes a bit. Just go, because there's no space on the floor for her to age up, I think. Why are they, why is it glitched out like this? God, age up. Oh, I think I might have to reset it. I've saved very recently. Yes, I'm going to have to get rid of a few, but I'm moving someone to college and stuff too. So I'll make sure that there's four spaces. Oh God, she got her bigger bump. Okay. So Victoria didn't age up yet. Let's just see what happens. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Let's just see if one more cake does it. If not, I'll reset and we'll do it after. Okay, fine. You have Victoria, then 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 you bring Victoria to cake, and then I might move move them and cheat all their needs. Okay, let's see what happens. Does she age up this time? Okay, now she's aged up. Perfect. One thousand aspirations. She grew up well. Brandy is. Look at Brandy's needs. Look at this. 
I, I pulled a CJ. Look at this. I've never had needs this bad before. Okay. Go to the bathroom immediately. Please, where are you? We need to move. This is too much. This is too much. Okay. This is... This is a screenshot if I ever saw one. Let's just let let's just see here. <laughs> there we go. I'm just gonna leave leave this like like this for a little bit. This is pretty good. When you move them, their needs reset themselves. Perfect. IRL quads are super rare. Totally. Twins are not super rare, triplets are very rare, and then quads are almost unheard of. Unless you get over IVF'd. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, so we have, we have two days left in spring. I think that's soon enough. Okay, so I'm just gonna save. So you have 75,000 simoleons. So let's see, what are we gonna do? Hi, Pixelated Sandwich. I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm just playing The Sims 2, so I'm doing pretty good. Doing one of my favorite things in the world. Actually, this is kind of perfect because we've gotten... Oh, don't forget to like the stream, everybody. I always forget to say that. So, basically... Uh, so, so, I, so, I did an hour of... Caliente is an hour of the brokes. So we do have to move the brokes now. So what's our best option here? So this is the best house, but they can't afford it. What's this house? 61,000? I don't know. Do, do, do we want to explore the lots and houses bin or what do we want to do? Let's see. I think I'm just going to go into a couple houses, but I do need to have my, my hourly bathroom break. My goodness. The problem is, is that I'm most funny if I drink coffee, but if I drink coffee, then I have to pee. So that's that. I wish I had a trick like that in my life. You just move and automatically happy. Not, not hungry and completely clean. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, so give me a second. We will be back in just, in just a moment. And we're gonna explore some housing options uh, for Brandy and we're gonna get her off of welfare because she doesn't need it anymore. I haven't had a rich brandy since she married Mortimer and like, I think that was like two or three pleasant views ago I played, my goodness. This house is actually pretty good. Pretty good for a pleasant view house. This might be the best one. This bathroom's weirdly shaped, but I could see it. Dining room, living room, okay, how many? Okay, this thing has like two living rooms, so we could make one a bedroom. Because here we have like the living room. See, like what's all this? Like we could, we could totally make this a little bit bigger. Oh, this is too cramped. This is too cramped for this family, but one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, four bedroom. This might be the perfect house for them though, because there's two hallways here. They've got four bedrooms upstairs, none for a double bed, but I could turn this downstairs room and cut off this part. I could turn this into a bedroom. I could do another bathroom here. Oh, there's two bathrooms upstairs. That's enough bathrooms. Yeah, this is really nice. Like, this is better than most Sims 3 houses. I like the shell too. It's very, like, neoclassical almost. Like, you've got, like, you've got the, um, the Doric or Ionic pillars. I forget which one. Um, you've got, yeah, you've got, like, the brick and the siding. Brick on the bottom, siding on the top. That's pretty good. Cast iron fence for fake glamour. That's pretty good. Look at the backyard too. That's pretty good. I like it. I like it. It's a little small, but they're also a little poor, especially after they buy this one. Okay, I know the bin houses are terrible. That's why I'm like, let's just check out the Pleasant View houses. I haven't seen this one in a while, because usually, usually I don't really end up, it is giving Greek revival. There is, there, there is a big element of that too. It's giving Sims, Sims 2 University. Yeah, for a base game house too, I know, right? Yeah, because I, like I said, I don't spend a lot of time building in The Sims 2, but especially in Pleasant View, my Sims are either very rich or very poor. So like, I know this house really well, and I know this house really well, because like, Cassandra sometimes ends up in those single. Uh, the Goth House is my biggest house at the moment. I don't love the starter houses. That's why I built my own for the Burbs, as you can see here. It's kind of cute. I like it. But yeah, like, I don't, I don't know a lot about the mid houses here. Like what, like, I don't know this one either. 
But yeah, I usually move into one of these with a rich sim, and then I'll build my own little starters. This is the welfare office across from Brandy's house. That's funny. I renovated one of the condos just to make it look more contemporary. So I have one of those renovated, but the rest of them are all the same. Cool. Yeah, so let's move them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look at all these people. Let me see. I don't want to enter the lot. Or do I want to... Oh, should I do it from that way? Mm, it's probably my best way. I'm just going to move them this way. Move the family into the family bin. Personal belongings will be sold for simoleons. The family will lose any rewards they may have earned unless they've been placed into the Sims inventory. That's fine. The laptop you're using now for Sims 3 won't load, so you can only play 4. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's awful. I really want to play Pleasant View, but my laptop is old and barely works. Turn down the graphics settings. It's not its not the prettiest game anyway. You're off to make vegan sushi. No worries. Have fun. Good luck. Sushi's tricky for me. I'm good at Italian food and French food. If you're in my Discord, you'll know I can make Italian food. And I am not Italian. And if you are and you want to challenge me, then you go for it. <laughs> I'll cook off you. If you can get Sims 4 working on your laptop, Sims 2 will work fine. I do believe that as well. Okay. Oh God, now I can't find them. Broke. So yeah, why don't we move them into this house here? I don't know if I'll furnish it yet. I might just put down a few placeholder -y things. Actually, the, the house was pretty furnished, so maybe we will. Okay, and then I really do have to go to the washroom. I'm sorry. Like, I'm starting to, like, have to shake and stuff now, so it's not going too good. But that's okay. We'll do... Because, like, we haven't done any building yet. We've just been doing gameplay, which is really weird for me. You'll notice in The Sims 2, like, it's, like, it's just I can keep going and going and going. Okay, she wants to have a baby, and she wants to have 10 babies, so that's something. Okay, I'm just gonna save. I'm just gonna make sure everyone's not corrupted, then I'm gonna save. Looks pretty good, okay. The baby is with us, that's good. Okay, save. Can I get music going? Okay, perfect. So, I'm just gonna put up our, be right back, and I will be right back as soon as I, Okay, I'm back. I'm just trying to find my OBS. There we go. Okay. 
Can I take the dog out to pee? Okay, so I have good news and bad news. Um, the good news is we're gonna do the house. The bad news is that like a thunderstorm is rolling in uh, right right to where I am. So we're gonna have to do it a little bit maybe more quickly than I than I, than I would have liked. So let's see what's going on here. Oh, do I have the music on too loud? No, I'm good. Okay, perfect. So I want this to be a bedroom. Oh, I like the fireplace there though. Or the chimney. Ah, uh, we have a chimney at the back, that's fine. Okay. Let's sell this fireplace. I like this hall, but I'd rather it be like, maybe we'll make like an ensuite bathroom for them. But not a huge one. Okay, we're gonna do some little renovations. So I'm thinking this can be a, a bathroom here. We can make it four wide the whole way. We'll make this the bathroom. Perfect. Take this away. Turn this into a bedroom door. What are the other bedroom doors like? I'll just copy it. Put a bedroom door there. Give them hard. No, we'll give them carpet. I like that carpet. It's very brandy. This siding, I'm going to make it pink. If there's a pink option with the siding, I want to do that. Yeah, this house is really nice. This is just sitting in Pleasant View. It's a base game house. <laughs> I'm as shocked as you. It's been like years since I think I've been in this one. I try not to look at all the Sims 2 houses in case I want to do a review series, so I'm surprised by some of them. That's tiles, but I like it. I like it for the bathroom. Yeah, let's do a pink bathroom for Brandy. I don't like that pink of a tile though. That's fine, let's do that. Actually, I'm gonna save some money that way. Okay, copy the toilet. Maybe we can give, uh, yeah, so we'll put the toilet there. Brandy likes baths, so we'll give her a bathtub. Let's give her a, ooh, this one's cute. This is a custom content bathtub. I don't always use custom content, but I use a lot in The Sims, uh, in The Sims 2. I want the bathroom door to be just for them. I'm gonna put the tub there, and then we'll put the sinks. Let's copy the counters here. Oh, I have some CC counters I want to use, actually. So my favorite count... Oh no, did I take them out? I think I took them out. Oh no, where are they? I was rearranging some things. I think I accidentally removed them. Let's see. If I go to kitchen, maybe? Just I'm just going to check just in case. In case they're categorized wrong. Oh, that's outside. What am I thinking? That's kitchen. Oh no, they are missing. Oh no, I don't know what I've done. Oh well, there are these like shiny metal-y ones. But I think I have custom swatches for these basic ones. I do, okay, perfect. Let's let's use these instead. Cause I can make these like pink and then I can make, actually I can make them even pinker. See, I can make them match like that. I can do a metal pink. I can do a, that kind of pink. What kind of surface should we do? Yes. That matches perfectly. So I usually do that and then I put in like a bathroom sink. Not that one. Yeah, let's use the flower one. I like that. Should I give them double sinks? No. I don't really have the room for that. Is there a mirror in this bathroom? There is, so let's copy that over here. Maybe we'll do like a more medicine cabinet one in here. Sometimes I just put it over the toilet. Okay, that's looking good. Let's give Brandy her bedroom wall color. That's perfect. Yeah, she can have the pink bedroom. I'll make this a dining room in here that not everyone will fit into. And this will be the living room. And then upstairs will be all the kids' bedrooms. <laughs> the houses in Oasis Springs are so ugly. Don't get me started. Okay. Get Brandy a bed. Bed, I just heard a thunder. I'm just gonna save. <laughs> oh no. Okay, if I suddenly just go offline, meet me in Discord, I'll say hi and everything, cause like I'll be out of power. I'll just go on my phone, so. Just so we know what's going on. Okay. Let's give her this bed. 
Because she's rich now. Oh, look at this bed. Hmm. Maybe this one's better. It doesn't look better. I'm going to give her this one or this one. Comfort three. Comfort eight. Energy eight. Let's just give her the good one. I've got some CC, I think, blankets I can choose from. Lots. Lots of CC blankets. Look at all these. Let's see what we got here. Where's the other CC ones? Ooh, I like that color. Oh no, okay. I'll do that and then I, 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 I wanna change the wood. Yes! Or do I want the red one? Ooh, that's pretty too. One second, I'm, now I'm redeciding what kind of bed I wanna do. Ooh yeah, let's do that. I love it, look at that. It, it kinda reminds me of her old bedroom. Should we do end tables? Probably. Come on. End table. Let's do... Mm, what colors do we have? I want, I want something kind of reddish. A reddish wood. Not red enough. Ooh. That's... Okay, well, maybe not this... May, but maybe this red. Not that red. Oh no. And I'm and like I'm kind of being spend heavy, but maybe I shouldn't be this spend heavy. We'll see. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, that's that's what I wanted. Hmm. Now I'll pick this one. Yes. Okay, that looks nice. That's better. I'll do a plant on one. And I'll do a lamp on the other. There's a table lamp. That looks all right. Oh, pull that forward. So we have the bedroom here. I need a dresser. Let's go into bedroom mode. Sort by room, bedroom, miscellaneous. Yeah, I, d I, I don't have rooms to put in closets or anything. Oh, they... They need a big dresser because there's two of them. She used to have a big dresser. I don't know if there's space for this big of a dresser. I want a wide one, but not a tall one. But then again, there's a lot of good red one. Look at this one. It's perfect. Okay, maybe we will do that and I'll just like not have these windows here. Maybe I'll put it there. Yeah, let's just do double windows in the front and I'll just delete these windows here because they have four windows in this room already. Okay, let's do a mirror, a nice mirror. Ooh, a dream catcher. I love dream catchers. I'm gonna put one over the lamp. There we go. Can I change the colors? No. I didn't think you could for that one. Okay, where was I? Right, mirror. Check your thighs in the mirror and I'm done. Ooh, not that one. Uh, I want a nice, I want a nice mirror. You know what? I don't know why I sorted by room. Let's just do it the old fashioned way. Let's sort it by object. Like this, there we go. I want Brandy to have nice things for the first time. Just a nice closet, nice mirror. Maybe I'll put the mirror there, the closet here. Put an end table or something with something else. I'll just put that there for now. Just so that way we have a placeholder for something. Sims 2, Blue Water Village. Sims 4, the world with four lots to put your stores in. <sighs> Magnolia Promenade. Okay, as somebody who adores The Sims 3 Ambitions, I cannot tell you how much it sank my heart when Get to Work was released. I was like, Get to Work? Get to, <laughs> like, I was not impressed. Okay, fridge and the stove are next to each other. I don't like that at all. It's just, oh no, I turned on the live mode. Live mode. There we go, let's go this way. Everything looks good here. Everything looks connected. Extra counter. We need more appliances though. So we're gonna actually have a dishwasher for the first time. Ooh, we can put a green one to match, even though I don't love it. Yeah, green appliances. So yeah, an old friend of mine had a beautiful, ugly green house in Prague. The inside was all green. Yes, I said something. Okay, we need a garbage disposal unit. Let's just put it here, perfect. This doesn't need to be a two tile archway. I know it looks nice, 
but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do a one tile archway. It can be an expensive one tile archway, but it will be a one tile. There we go, that looks a little bit better. We got the trash, maybe we put the trash one here. Nah, here, or here. Do you have all the appliances there? That might be better. Can it be green too? It can, there we go. Can we make this fridge green? No, just come, ooh, it comes in woods though. Black, now nah, let's just keep it. I want a new bathroom sink. I don't like this one. Let's, sorry, a new bathroom sink. That is a bathroom sink, but let's put an actual kitchen sink in. I like to use this one, but I turn it white or I leave it copper if it's like a fancy house. Blue Water Village has 15 business lots. That is, correction, 23. <laughs> yeah, I was like 15, that's it. I thought it was more than that, but I've never counted, I don't think. Okay, dining table. I'm just gonna do a small table just cause it is so cramped in here. Oh God, they can eat on the couch and stuff. Nobody eats at the same time. I don't know if they can get to the fourth table, but we'll see. I just like it to, to kind of tuck in there. Okay, let's change the wallpaper in just the kitchen to make, cause I don't like blue and green together. So I want to make it like, if we want a green kitchen, we can do it, but I'm gonna do it without the blue walls. Just do it like this. Perfect. Let's go all out. Ugly green kitchen for Brandy. Let's do tiles too. Of course there are matching green tiles. That's really green. I'm gonna use white tiles. There we go. Maybe even white tiles for the wall is better. Ooh, I like the bricks. We're gonna use brick. So it looks like white and green is the theme here. Now I don't like this counter here. What if I did this? There we go. That looks a little bit better. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. I'm happy with it. Okay, we can leave blue in the living room and the downstairs bathroom. Oh, I keep finding the stairs. I want the wallpaper. Okay, everything looks good there. I'm gonna save again, because I heard thunder again. I'm scared. Okay, so now we have 28,000 left. So we have downstairs bathroom done, dining room. I'm gonna put like a decoration, it's too empty. Uh, let's do a plant. Let's do the rubber tree plant, I like that plant. Can I do three of them? I could. <laughs> Just do like, no, it's too much. Okay, I'm gonna put a plant there. And honestly, let's just do like a painting because there's not really much room left. Ooh, I don't want to do it today, but I like to do these like, you know, like I'll put like light switches on the wall. I'll put another one like over here. I'll put some plugs. Ooh, plugs in the kitchen. So like you can put like a plug on the wall here. So that way, like if you put your food processor here, I don't know, it's just more fun. I put these ones in the bathroom for like hair dryers, if you think about it. See, it, it even has the surge protection thing on it. I like that thing. Uh, there's a few outside ones, like uh, ooh, a thermostat. I'm gonna put that here too, right at the front. There we go. So we need a burglar alarm, like an actual burglar alarm. So let's do that. There we go. Burglar alarm on the wall. Ooh, can I fit the clock too? No, it's Sims 2. Mm, I don't need the clock. We do need a phone. I wish I could just put it here, but I don't want a wall there. So that's fine. Let's put it in the corner there. Might be better. No, I don't like it there. It's not a really good place for it. Maybe I'll put it on the table in the living room. Let's just get beds going. Let's see how many, like, oh, look at this green bathroom. Let's fix this. I like the blue bathroom downstairs. I'm gonna just use that. So this bathroom is using this deep green tile, which I do not hate. Oh, I hate the green shower curtain though. Ooh, that's nice. This is better. I like, I like that style better. I'm gonna get rid of this porcelain mirror though. I don't like the mirror in those ones. I like this bathtub. I don't know if I like that kind of a yellow wall. I want it to be more pale yellow. Is there a pale yellow option? Ooh, I think I saw something like this. Uh, it's, I don't like the texture. I don't like that texture either. 
That's better. I'm gonna use that. Yes, I like that one. I just find the items in The Sims 2 to be very high quality. Like if you compare this toilet to a Sims 4 toilet, the Sims 2 toilet just looks better. It's got more of a round seat. It's got more detail. It just looks, it looks more like a toilet and not like a doll toilet. That makes sense. I'm gonna change this bathtub to a different bathtub. Cause look at, so see how they've kind of boxed it in here. So I have this CC bathtub that I love. So you put it on the wall there and then you can just pick whatever tile from the build catalog. So I can just use like this, for example. See, I can just make it white tile. So I like doing that. Oop. Control Y. There we go. You could make it green if you wanted. You could do ugly. You could do less ugly, but still ugly. Let's see if there's a blue one. Is there a good blue tile? Ooh, we have the Sims 1 tile text. I like this. Let's see. I'm going to use that. I'm just gonna check a couple others in case. Yeah, the base game ones aren't doing it for me. I think I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use the CC one. So these CC walls, these are like copied from The Sims 1, if you remember The Sims 1 textures. You can place them with a cheat, but objects become non-functional. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, you can pl actually, you can place a lot of things on diagonal and they're still functional. Diagonal, but not not everything. You have to play test it, but most things you can place diagonal and it'll still work. But you're right, not everything and not things on half tiles a lot of the time too. So you just have to be careful. Just play test everything if you're doing weird stuff. I tend to just play by the rules when I'm doing these. We do not need another fireplace here. We don't need a fireplace in the kids' bedrooms. Okay. Who are our kids again? Let's save. I heard thunder again. I'm scared. Okay, let's see if we can... So we have Bo broke, Robert broke, Victoria Pleasant, and Phoebe broke. Okay, so we have two boys, two girls. One of the boys is going to move out soon, but we also have... Yeah, we also have a baby at least on the way. So let's do one baby's room. Which room is the smallest? Let's... The two tile room can be the baby's room. Okay, where is it? Baby's room. Uh, let's do, let's just do white stuff. Keep it simple. That's the changing table. Let's do the crib. Crib and changing table. There we go. That's pretty much all we can fit in this room. So I'm just gonna leave it at that, keep it nice and functional. Uh, let's do Victoria's bed. What kind of bed does Victoria have? Hmm. Well, let's give her the princess bed. I'm gonna make it pink. For my baby girl, who's Daniel's baby girl. Three weeks. Oh, I like the shell bed too, it's very cute. Look at that one. I'm gonna do the princess bed. What's it called? Fit for royalty. I'm like, I don't know why I call it the princess bed, but I guess they do too. Come on, there's a there's a there's a very brass pink that I'm thinking of. No. I want it to be pinker. Let's just use this one, then the one with the stripe. That one's alright. Okay, so Victoria's the second youngest. She can have this bedroom, I guess. See, the way I see it is that they don't, like, it doesn't, a bathroom should be Jack and Jill or hallway, not both. So maybe, hmm, this one's very ensuite. So let's just like, here, this one can be in the hallway. This one can be Jack and Jill. No, because then they're gonna go in through the, the bedrooms. Okay, let's just leave all three doors there. But I do want this door in the hallway. Okay, so that'll be Victoria's room. Uh, Robert's room, let's give him an Ikea bed. Hmm. 
these bedrooms are both pretty. This one's this one's the next smallest. We can rotate their rooms as they age up and like new babies come in. If we have twins, then Victoria can go in the small room and then the twins can then all the babies can go in here or something. It's four tiles. We can fit two cribs. Oh gosh, Sims 4 had to put a dishwasher in the update? That's that's absurd. It's crazy. I'm gonna change the bedding. I hate the default bedding. Even if I just change it to this like white one, I feel better. Maybe we'll get like a nicer IKEA bed. The other one. Yeah. One of the kids can have a double bed. Give me Bo's Bo's room. I want something with like a hint of gay. Just a hint of gay. Hmm. No. No. Ooh, that's a little gay. Oh, that one. Okay, I want that one. Perfect. I never know what I want, but once I see it, then I know. Okay, so I got bed, bed. Everyone has somewhere to sleep. That's good. We don't have a living room yet. That's fine. Okay, we need like one computer. We're, we're gonna use a single tile desk as usual. I have a CC one. That's 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 the one I always use here. I'm gonna make it black to match the bed. If it's available, it is available. So we'll do that, add a chair. Love it. Yeah, a hint of gay, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want it to be flaming gay, but I don't want it to be heterosexual, <laughs> if that makes sense. Cause you never know what your Sims are gonna end up, you know, doing or who they're gonna be with. So it's like, and with Bo, it's like, oh, there's a hint of gay. I'm gonna put the CC laptop there again. Yeah, cause this desk is more of a laptop desk anyway. Uh, okay, we need we need a large screen TV for downstairs. Okay, let's just plan this downstairs here. Oh, that might be a better place for the computer. Maybe downstairs is better. I just thought of that. Or we can have something else there. I don't know what we're gonna do. This this living room is not the best shape. Okay, what's our biggest TV? Three tiles. You know what? We don't need a fireplace at all. I don't have time for that. I don't know if we should have a three wide TV. How much is that? 10 grand? Okay, never mind. The one on the wall? No, we're gonna get this one. I like this one. So we'll do that. We'll do the video game next to it. We'll get a couch going. Maybe two love seats instead might be better. It doesn't help the fact that they have two porches and therefore two back doors in the living room. Martacor said that Bo is giving gay vibes. Yeah, I trust her judgment. Not on gayness, just on The Sims 2 in general. That's cute. That's CC as well. I don't even remember this one. I think two love seats is better. Hmm. Yeah, let's use this one. We'll, we'll do a white one and a black one. The ebony and ivory love seats. Okay, see, it's already getting a little cramped here. You know what? We don't need a back door there. They can, if they wanna go here, they can just go around the house gonna add window there we go that's all right at least this way they can still get a oh can they get through there though i don't even know is this gonna be routable let's find out go here go here okay good it is okay they can go that's fine as long as they can fit through that corner i'm happy i'm not gonna do a coffee table because i'm not a masochist <laughs> i don't want to deal with that routing issue i do want to put a decoration of some kind maybe in that corner if there's room for it if there is room for it if they can get through oh god okay maybe not the plant it'll go in this corner then I need a bookshelf of some kind. Uh, I really need to finish this off because of the weather. How long have I been going for? 2.35, okay, I'm gonna try and go for three hours. Okay, we can have like bookshelf there, chair there. We need, we need more seating, so that's kind of what I'm thinking of now. 
Rug, yes, a rug, good idea, thank you. A rug would be a great idea, because then it'll, it'll put something there without anything being in the way. Rugs were not base game in The Sims 2, fun fact. Oh, I wish this was bigger, but I'm gonna use it in the kitchen. Come on. Come on, there we go. Put that rug in the kitchen. That, this, this would've been good for the bedroom if it wasn't carpeted. I want a big one. Big rug, not that big. This is a basketball court? It is, oh my God. <laughs> I never even noticed that before. I've been playing this for 20 years. Some of these do not have other color swatches though. Oh, black and white, yes. Perfect. One second. I'm gonna put it on a quarter tile. Oh, I can't, Um, you cannot put rugs on quarter tiles. I forgot. Fine. Then we'll do it this way. Maybe it should be chairs and not couches. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete that one. We got like a chair there. And then chair here. How about this? I have the mod where they can watch TV sideways. There is not a cheat for that. You can do, you can do quarter tiles for furniture like this. You just hit control F with testing cheats, but you cannot do it for rugs. I don't think. Unless there's a different cheat that I don't know about. Oh, you can do like the in-between ones, like the alt placing maybe. I just wanna see if there's one that's like more, I want, yeah, like this size is better. Let's see if this, if this rug has a good one, one second. I'm gonna get rid of, cancel. I'll delete this one. Okay, well this one has at least a white swatch, so maybe we'll just use this one. The other thing I sometimes do is I just pull up the carpet and I'll just like make my own rug. I'll be like, yeah, this is gonna be my rug. Like that. Actually, it's kind of looking better. Okay, let's just pick one then. How about like this? That actually looks better. I'm gonna use this. I did, I did, I did my own one. Save again. Okay. Well, that's good. We got them almost set up for success. So we've got lots of things to do. We got skill building things. I'm gonna just, yeah, let's just add a couple more skill building things just so we have them. Maybe I'll put a telescope out here. I'll do, ooh, we need like something to exercise with. We used to have a ballet bar, so let's see. Yeah, there's no room for the workout. Hmm. Put it in one of the bedrooms, why not? We don't really have much else up there. I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about wardrobes in all of them. I'm just gonna give these guys cheap Ikea tables maybe. I'll put one, uh, maybe I'll do it here. Oh goodness. Is that gonna work though? I don't know if they can use the workout equipment from there. We'll see. If if not, we'll see. Okie doke. Where'd I put the computer chair? Did I delete it? I might have. I'm gonna get another computer chair. We're almost done. Almost done. Can't believe how long this is taking me. It's cause it's for a family I care about. So I'm like, oh, I want it to be like nice. Cause if, because if I'm gonna be playing this family, then why not? Okay, we are going to give her a new rug. I'm just gonna change all the wall colors up a little bit. I don't like the purple with the pink, it's too much. What's this color gonna look like? Ugh, okay. I'm gonna need to reassess what I'm doing. Give me one moment to think. That's too pink. That's a little too pink still. What's this? Oh, it's got the white. That might be better. Then maybe if I do like a white carpet. Hmm, now it's too white. I'm gonna do this white carpet, but I'm gonna change the walls. Oh, that's better. I like that better. Okay. 
I like the blue kind of for this bedroom. I'm gonna change this one to more of the teal, just like that to match, to match the bedspread. And then for the baby's room, I always like yellow for a baby's room because I think it's a very cute color. I think it's like more child color and it's not like super like, you know, yellow can be for boys or girls, even for bigots. So it, it's kind of universally good. That's too yellow. Uh, maybe I'll do a white wall with a yellow carpet or vice versa. Maybe I'll do the, yeah. I'll do a yellow wall then. Oh, CJ's back. Good. So your recording went went well then? I hope it went well. That looks pretty good, right? Pretty good for a Sims 2 house. Calvin West Anime Sims in the chat that he knows Sims 2 building. Sims 2 is probably the game I build the least, maybe Sims 1. For me, a good rule of thumb is the earlier the game, the less I build and the more I play, if that makes sense. So Sims 1 is like all gameplay. Sims 2 is mostly gameplay. Sim 3 is about 50-50, 50-50 building worlds and like building houses and playing. And then Sims 4 is like all building, no playing. Kyle's here finally. This is Brandy's new house. She got married. So here, let's see what's going on yeah so it's brandy's house she's pregnant she has a bunch of kids and she just got married to cooper so they needed a bigger house so i just moved them into this house and i renovated it so uh is there anything i miss the phone i don't think i put the phone in if anyone can think of anything i'm missing i'm not doing curtains i don't have time for curtains right now Sometimes phones are like on the counter in the kitchen. So why don't we do that? And I'll do like one small uh, appliance. Should I use the food processor? It should be next to the fridge if I do. I'll put a food processor there. Perfect. Everything looks good now. The teddy bear wallpaper is cute cream yellow. Okay, let me see. Let me find that. Oh my God, I have too much CC. Is it this one? That one has dogs and cats on it, but we're, but we're close. I'm in the right area, right? I hope. Does anyone know which category it's in? Maybe it's in regular paints? I'm trying to find the teddy bear one. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it. If I can't, I'm sorry. I like, I like to move her somewhere bigger, but then have one of the kids move back to the trailer. So we could have Dustin move into the trailer because he has one kid and they're living in an apartment. Him and Angela are living, they're the only ones living in an apartment. Looking back, I love this color palette. Look at this, the pink, the blue, the yellow, and this like tealy color, they all look so good together. I love it. It might just be pink and blue, but I didn't even find those ones yet. Is it this one? Yeah, see, it's like pink or blue. I'm I'm gonna leave it yellow, I think, because I, I don't need a trash can. I do have the trash compactor. However, I will put a trash can in the bathroom at times. So why don't we do that? I'll put a trash can in the bathroom here. Why is there a door to the bathroom through the dining room? Probably just so it routes better. I'll just leave it for a little bit. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's good. Oh, a car. They need a car and a garage because I'm not playing The Sims 4. Oh my goodness. Who'd have thought? Okay, I'm gonna move this tree. Actually, I'm just gonna delete the tree. Maybe we don't need, maybe we do need the stool. Okay, give me a second. I need to plan this out. I need the driveway. Okay. Oh no, it's the bull prop one. Okay, you know what? I don't, I, I don't even necessarily want that. I'm just gonna do it like this. I'll take that. Um, can I do it one over? Oh, uh, is this gonna be? See, the thing is, is that when they don't leave enough room for the garage. And it's like, what am I supposed to do? Cause I can't do it on this side. Okay, can I do it on this side? I can't. 
can't do a... No, I don't have enough room for it. Okay, fine. They can have a parking space. One second. I'm going to try and do something clever. So you can't do walls on the edge of lots, but you can do fences, I think. Yes. So we can at least box it in this way. What's the most normal looking fence in this game again? The Sims 3 is the only Sims game that gives me a normal fence. There's like hundreds of fences in each Sims game and there's one, you could shrink the deck, I could. But no, cause it's like, look at, I've got six tiles, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I can't build a wall until this tile. So I only have four, I can't do it. I could do it like, see the, I could do it back here and then I could move the lot over. That is something I could do. Yeah, CJ's usually like one week ahead with his videos. I'm, I'm the simmer who like uploads the same day I'm done. I'm gonna like just decorate a little bit then. Make this look a little bit better. Hmm. I don't know if I want a fence all the way around. I'll just do a fence maybe here. Yeah, sometimes I just like to have a fence on the one side. We can fit two of these, I think, if I flatten the, if I flatten things a little bit here. Like one second, move this thing. Hmm. I don't want to get in, into terrain tools. No, I do not want to do that. Elevation, there we go, let's try this. Delete these, I can flatten this, just in case they want like a second car. Yeah, see, now I can do it. So I can fit two cars here if I want to, but we're just gonna buy one for now. Uh, outside, car, okay, let's not get her the, the jet car. She's a minivan girl. She needs a minivan. She needs a minivan to pack all the kids into. Okay, let's do it. Ooh, look at this color. I like this color. I'm gonna use this. That's perfect. A nice minivan for Brandy. Perfect. Okay, and she's got about 12,000 simoleons left, which is not a whole lot of money, but it's not like she's broke. So she ain't as broke as she was before. So that's always good. Tomorrow Sims here, what's up? Live stream moment, of course. Okay, so there we go. We got everything sorted out. Last call, anything I forgot? Are we sure? Do we know? They're running out of time too. Okay, I'm gonna save again. Oh, good stuff. Okay, so I've been live for two hours and 50 minutes. You know me, I like a three hour stream. One of my good friends taught me, always leave the party while it's still fun. And I still believe that. Cause like, you don't wanna wait until it's messy and like people are upset and like the fun's worn off. So I like to go into a denouement and we'll kind of just chat for the last 10 minutes and just kind of hang out a little bit. So save one last, I always save twice when I quit the game. Let's see. Yes, I'm sure I wanna quit. Then we'll see what I can do with this. I'm gonna get myself in the middle and everything. But if I do the undo thing, there we go. Hi, I'm in the middle. And then I'll just do, and I shouldn't have closed the game. I want like a background. That's okay. Hi. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? I had a great time. I'm gonna be streaming a lot more, I think. I have, uh, I'm have. i in a much better position and situation to be able to actually bring you streams more consistently. So I wanted to show you my Pleasant View because I'm like, I kind of want to start playing my Pleasant View again. And since I didn't really show you guys like it's starting, like you haven't seen the first parts and stuff. That was all just me off camera. So I'm like, I wanted to catch you up, show you where I'm at, see where everyone's going. Cause yeah. Cause like making a Sims video, 
doesn't always require playing the game, if that makes sense. And sometimes I just want to play The Sims 2. I don't want to worry about the editing or like trying to make it entertaining. The Sims 2 is entertaining anyway. So it's like you can usually you can usually have a good time with it. So if you have any questions or anything at this time, this is the time. Or if you have anything to say or any thoughts or anything that you think I should be doing. So let's see. You're all for Pleasant View streams. Well, that's good. The stream was great. I'm glad you enjoyed it. A pool, I'll put, okay, 12 grand. Okay, if her new husband can start making her money, we'll do a pool, I promise. Fire alarm, I forgot the fire alarm. Hmm, maybe I should. Brandy's got cooking skills, so hopefully, hopefully I remember. Okay, so next time we play Brandy, make sure I remember that because I might not. Sorry, I'm using my phone for like the chat and stuff. So we like watching myself on my own phone. My goodness, my, but my volume is not really on. CJ says, bye. He's like, yeah, just hurry up and finish. <laughs> my goodness. Oh my God. Yeah, you're all for Pleasant View streams. Me too. Because Pleasant View, like people know Pleasant View because Cindy like showed everyone and like, you know, went really into the lore and like really into how exciting it can be. And like, and I do, I do still completely agree with that sentiment. Let's see what's going on. I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. <laughs> Unky doke. Oh, um, names too, because Brandy is the only Sim pregnant currently. So she's probably going to be the next one to give birth. So what did we do? We did P Z Y X W V G S R Q P O. So with the next, the next, uh, name is O, so we're gonna need an O name, not Otimus. Thank you. I just don't want Otimus. Other than that, what are some O names? Ophelia, because that well, Ophelia is from Strange Town, so I don't like to repeat names. Oscar, that's a good name. I like that one. Oscar Olivia. I love Olivia. That's a cute name. Oh my god, Olive. So we all know I love Olive Specter. So maybe Olivia is a good. A good uh, middle ground for that one. So we could use that one. This might be totally off topic another time, but is it hard to run Sims 2 on a modern PC? Absolutely not. So, oh, don't forget to like the stream, everybody. I, I always forget to mention that too. So, uh, so for the Sims 2, my recommendation would just be to go into Google and just see what happens. Uh, for that. So yeah, I don't know. The internet is your friend. So do your best. Um, there, there is also a link to my discord in the description of the stream. If you don't see it, refresh the stream, then you'll see it. So that's kind of how, um, if you have any problems getting the Sims two or three to run, then that's, then that's always a good, a good place to get, um, to get going. So that's good. Yeah. Oliver is nice. I like that. Oliver, Oliver or Olivia. Okay, we're gonna, one second. So I'm gonna show you something special. So I have this like Sims book here. So I, so I write down notes about like videos, timestamps. Uh, sometimes I write things about like NROS settings for the Sims 3, if I'm trying something new. There's math equations in here for some reason. My goodness, look at this thing. But in here is where I keep my little notes. So I'm gonna make a note on these ones. Olive and Olivia. For Pleasant View. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Oh no, I showed how bald I am by pointing my head down. Oh no. Oprah! I love I love that. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna write that down too. Cause that way, if it's a girl, then I can have people vote. Oprah. Love it. What a cool name. And it's like Oprah is one of those names where like you can't in real life name your kid Oprah because there is one Oprah, if that makes sense. Like, you know, like at least at least culturally. So Opal, I like that name, too. And Opal is kind of the name of like a pretty gem, but not the most expensive gem. You know, if you've ever played Breath of the Wild, you then you know what it's like when you fight for like an hour to try to get a chest and then you open it and it's like opal 
I'm like, ugh, drives me crazy. I'm talking about a Zelda game for the Switch. So if you don't understand that reference, that's okay. It's not a Sims thing. But yeah, thank you so much. I had a great day and a great time. I was feeling like stressed and like anxious and stuff. And I thought, you know what? If I just get a stream going, then I'll probably feel a lot better after. And I do feel a lot better after. So thank you so much for that. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me today for the Pleasant View stream. If you like the stream, don't forget to give the stream a like. So that way I know that you liked it and then we can kind of keep it going. I'll be playing Pleasant View whether or not you guys are watching. So it's like, you know, if you like it, then let me know and then we can keep going. Uh, I'll try to do it a little bit more consistently. Uh, I'm not at the point where I want to put out a schedule or anything, but I'm going to try to give you something every day. So like a video, a live stream, maybe a short or something too. So I'm going to try to get into a rotation where I'm doing something like more consistent and some things harder, some things easier. Because as you've seen, some of my videos are like full length like like really labor intensive pieces like 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 my sims one retrospective that took me like a month to do right so that's not very viable for me sometimes you get a quick speed build but even those take a while to build but a live stream takes me three hours to do and three hours for you to see so it's a little bit more easy and then for the shorts i'm i'm not as like i think in terms of my strength is in little sound bites. So I'm gonna try and make more shorts about some of my best moments or bitchiest moments or like worst things I've ever said about The Sims 4 or like, you know, it's like little things like that, like collections of my, or, you know, maybe maybe at this point, there's enough sound bites to get a minute of me talking about Andrew. So, you know, you never know. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like the stream and check to see if you're subscribed because you might not be subscribed. Sometimes I'm not subscribed to people I thought I was. So anyway, thanks again. I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you next time. Don't cry. CJ's crying because I mentioned Andrew again. Well, there we go. I'm just dipping my foot in the drama hot tub, so to speak. But something you should, if the Andrew jokes are tickling your fancy, there's going to be a Cindy Let's Play coming. So there you go. But don't worry. I'm going to be nice to her and mean to Andrew. So it's going to be good fun. Anyway, we'll see you next time.